And we're live! It's Delta Green once again. Second ep, second sesh, if you will, of The Last Equation, which is all you guys get to know about this operation before you play it. It's just the name. Uh, does anyone remember our session last time? You guys, you guys were there for that? I got hit with the numbers. Oh yeah, you was did. that you who got really hit bad with the numbers, or was, was that Joe Bear? I got hit real bad, but I got touched by the numbers. Yeah, I'm you. Starting yeah, to you're like starting to see, but like you haven't gotten it. They're not. They haven't fully infected. Oh, if it gets Joe Bear level, I'm eating a lead breakfast. I don't. I don't care. You know. <laughs> Just kidding. I will persist. I need to figure out what the fuck happened to my battle buddies. Yeah, yeah. You were just like, yeah. My motivation just keeps me going because I'm so hard boiled. Yeah. So, I guess if we're ready for a little bit of a recap from last week, um, you guys, your agents get the call that you're to report in to Alliance, New Jersey, which, um is in the southern part of New Jersey. And when you guys get there, you learn from your handlers, a kind of a Boston-y accent guy named Agent Kane, who lets you know that there has been a pretty gruesome mass, uh, not mass, but like multiple homicide um, in Alliance, where, you, where you're to report to. Um, and he lets you know that a, a man, a graduate student at Columbia University by the name of Michael Way, he just had committed a murder-suicide. He murdered eight, a family of eight, and then himself. But before he killed himself, he spray-painted a series of numbers onto the pavement. And since this has happened, there's been no, like, nobody's come, been able to come up with a good explanation. The media's gotten a hold of this story. Multiple agencies have gotten hold of the story between the local police, the state police, and the FBI because Michael Way crossed state borders with um, a weapon from New York State into New Jersey to commit this crime. And so it's gotten the, you know, it's become the jurisdiction of multiple agencies, which you have to navigate. The news media has gotten the attention, has, has, has uh, is running this story. As soon as you guys got out of like your meeting with Agent Kane at the airport, you were bombarded with uh, media inquiries, reporters trying to get your attention, trying to get you to answer some questions about this case. Why is it an FBI matter? Is there something more to the story that they don't know? Seems like they don't know much at this point, but you guys immediately kind of started to try to spin the story, which is what Agent Kane requested of you, was basically, Close this case any way you see fit. His like suggestion was maybe you can like try make some connection, some drop some sort of affair between Michael Way and Dinah Ridgeway, who was the mom of this family of eight who was murdered, and maybe you could like create something, fabricate something there. And he was just like, just close this case, try to make it an open and shut deal, uh, and destroy any trace of the number anywhere um if that number has gotten out find that find that too and and you know just just end the trail of this number it caught the, caught the attention of the higher ups at delta green and they want it taken care of uh so you guys like leave your agents leave the the airport and you're able to kind of skirt the media after just saying a few things but they seem to have taken an interest in what you were saying. You get to the house, and at this point, it's kind of late. It's like 7.30, I think, I want to say. <coughs> and you get there, and you're immediately greeted by a Delta Green friendly named Thomas Blanette, who only knows Delta Green as, quote-unquote, the group. Uh, he's a friendly, but he doesn't really know what's going on. You know, he just knows that it's like some higher level part of the government that he's not really privy to. Seems very excited that he is uh, 
in on the secret, if you will, and he's like keeps nodding, like, "Oh yeah, I know about the group. Yeah, the group." Bro, yeah, that was yo, know, that was tilting <laughs> me. I was like, "Yeah," he was literally yelling so loud in the middle of the street, like, "Yo, are you guys with that like clandestine <laughs> shadowy <laughs> operations group that I've been told is on the way to meddle with the end?" I'm like, "Yo, please, kid, <laughs> dude, I." <laughs> It would be cute if it wasn't annoying. Yeah. No, truly. And he said that he got himself assigned to the detail, the crime scene detail that night, you know, just to keep uh, keep watch over it, make sure nobody sneaks in or whatever, no teenagers tr trying to fuck with the place. And, but you also, as soon as you're kind of done talking with him, coming out of the crime scene, out of the house, is Agent Canner, who is the FBI oh. head FBI agent on the case, Special Agent Canner, and uh, he is kind of seems cook the fuck out of us. Yeah, yeah, he seems like a no nonsense dude. He's kind of confused. He says you guys arrived earlier than he expected. That he was expecting another named agent as the math expert on the case, which kind of agent grady represented herself as the math expert on this case um and he was like oh i was expecting a uh, 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 mrs comox um and that was a little confusing and then joe bear tried to throw him off the trail a little bit by dropping his ex-wife's name right is that right joe bear missy martinez ex-girlfriend ex-girlfriend ex -girlfriend. yeah you guys never made it that far are you guys still on like good terms nope. Yeah, yeah, she's one of my um, connects on the sheet. Yes, your bond, your bonds. Yeah, I see. Yeah, a score of seven, oh. so it's not the best, but you know, like, yeah, you guys are still on good terms enough. Um, yeah, so you drop her name because she actually works at the FBI. You say an agent Martinez is actually our our commanding officer on this job, and he's like, oh, that's strange. I haven't really heard of that. Like, don't worry, I'll make some calls down to down to headquarters, get this all straightened out. And he basically says, like, go, you can look at the crime scene, but don't spend too long. He wants everyone out of there by 9 p.m. Um, that's just when the crime scene closes, just to, you know, operational, uh, uh, standard operations. And he leaves, and then you guys are kind of free to investigate the crime scene alone, which is nice. And when you guys get in, you see just this gruesome murder scene. There's no bodies. I don't know if I was clear about that. The bodies have since been taken to the morgue. Um, but you don't really need them to see how gruesome this scene is. It's, uh, it's terrible, you know? It's like a what looked like a happy family. Uh, just eight people like from ages 10 to 44 just like brutally murdered. Um, you're starting to read some of the evidence reports. Some of you're going through some of the evidence. Uh, there's kind of an evidence table like in the building. It all happened literally like 17 hours ago, so it's all very fresh and like a lot of the procedure hasn't actually gotten started, which is why uh, Delta Green wanted you like out here so quickly to kind of mm -hmm. intercept that procedure um, as much as you can. And so, yeah, you guys go in and. You, you're, you're kind of just inspecting things. You inspect the car. You don't see much. You find shotgun shells. You find the shotgun. The odometer um, had some weird shit going on. That, yeah, that, that, a, um... basically, you're looking around and you you reading the evidence report, and the evidence report states that he shot the gun 16 times. Um, every single one was a hit except one, which shot the oven, like the stove oven complex. It's like, like this old 1970s like pan and green stove that kind of just an ugly monstrosity like of a stove. You're describing my stove. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, you shot at the, or he shot at that stove and the time, like like the, the, the clock was broken on the stove and the time reads uh, oh, what is it? Two, I think it's 2.28 and 13 seconds. Uh, two... Eight and thirteen seconds. Yeah, exactly. And and some of you like trying to like think about the times, and you're thinking about this number that he spray painted. And Joe Bear specifically is starting to recognize that this number has a correlation with a lot of numbers that are surrounding this scene that have to do with this scene. So the number on the 
on the oven is this number uh, that is displayed on the screen on the house. It's like the numbers, every, every two numbers is the time. Um, you saw that the odometer was, I think I said 99892 or something. It was also embedded in this number. Um, and all sorts of things. Joe Bear, especially being an accountant and kind of like looking through the people's like histories, like tax records, receipts, license plate numbers, the odometer in Michael Way's car. All these numbers are like adding, subtracting. They're relating to to um, to this number that he spray painted, and it starts to freak Joe Bear out a little bit. It's starting to like get to him. Um, but. It still is like, like Joe Bear. If 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 this number was opening a door, it would still just barely be cracked, you know. Just the tiniest bit of light shining through. You don't even really know what it means. What it what it. You're just barely scratching the surface. You feel like, and. Um, that's basically where we left it. I think you guys. Anything to add? Anybody remember anything? I was missing? starting to get a little cracked by the number because I noticed the um You the were the one shit. looking you is it you who saw the oven? I saw the oven and, and the I odometer. remember that Dr. Grady no Dr. Grady saw the odometer, but we were looking at the car at the same time, so I sort of like I sort of was starting to piece it. I was starting to see a little bit of the numbers within numbers, but not nearly as bad as Joe Bear. Yeah, I think that like even like fully eldritch yet. Yeah, I think like the difference is right. Is that like you maybe are kind of like seeing these numbers, but it's hard to fully understand like how they all relate, just because of yeah. not having the math background, right? Right. So, yeah. but someone with the math background can be like, oh, you know, oh yeah, now I see. And that's kind of, Joe Bear is kind of like that. Like he, I mean, he's an accountant, so he has a math background, but it's not like you're you ever went to school for mathematics specifically or anything like that. Or, you know. Yeah, physics. even like sniping and stuff requires pretty basic formula, so oh, it's not like you need to be yeah. a genius to. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. But even then, that's like you know, you learn the formulas and you apply them. You don't really, you're not like doing theoretical math or whatever. Um, so yeah, so that's where you guys are at. You kind of just saw this. You're kind of just just getting to this realization. Um, and I don't know if I mentioned it last time, but you guys were looking at the murder weapon, right? It was a shotgun, a Remington 870. And yeah, and it's police issue. It's police issue, and the serial number is on it, and it is Im also embedded in the number. Um... Oh, shit. Um, I do remember us doing something with their phones. Oh, like they were on oh the yeah, phone. I was trying to, uh, I was trying to get um, Dinah, Dinah's phone. Yeah, I was I, trying to get Michael Way's phone to do some um, like text planting type stuff. Yeah, you looked through Michael Way's phone is locked via Michael... an eight-digit passcode or something like that. Yeah, is that what I said? Eight digits? I don't know. Might be Plus, four, so, but yeah. eight would be half of sixteen, which is <gasps> yeah. Four would be the what square root of sixteen. Wow, numbers, wow. dude. <laughs> numbers, stop it. Stop it. numbers. Yeah, I mean, who knows? Maybe if you could me? crack the code, you could crack his phone. Maybe. But is it worth it? Mm. But dude, then that means Joe Bear has the best chance right now with his reduced sanity. Yeah. Yeah. True. So I'm getting right. Yeah. This is why I failed pre-calc. Numbers are just too crazy. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be I got careful. My spider web decoration for home. Gotta be careful. Guys, those guys. numbers. Numbers. Spider so, numbers. Uh, this is where you're at. It's about. I would say it's about eight o'clock, eight fifteen. Uh, at the at the Ridgeway house, and. You're supposed to be out of there by nine, but you don't really know who's watching. Um, what is your plan tonight? It's getting to be late in the evening. You have motel rooms at the Motel 6, which happens to be where yeah. the uh, <laughs> FBI seems to be holding up as well. Um, you've got plenty of time left in the night, if but 
What what is your plan? You're about like an hour and a half from New York City. Like, Which is where the kid went to school as well. Um, you am I going to have to schlack this FBI guy because he's going to get us in a shit ton of trouble? Uh, 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 you, <laughs> you guys are going to have to figure that out. Like we're so yeah. boned. He said, you gave him like your <laughs> ex-girlfriend's name as an FBI like. Uh, he said Agent person. Martinez, which is like a right. little generic, but he didn't. I don't it think he, I don't think Joe Bear said first name, but I feel like I, I uh, maybe I'm misremembering, but I don't know. I could. But I feel wrong. like this is not not going in a good direction. Whatever the case, it's like he's gonna start asking, "Yo, who are these extra people reporting to?" And they're gonna be like, "Yo, extra people?" Question mark. Question mark. So one why potential don't I thing him... I just want to remind you about is like your handler. <laughs> is accessible he he well, told you to clue him into things you know as much as you felt appropriate um and you could potentially reach out to him and see if anybody in the fbi can cover for you you know what i mean i was gonna say maybe we sick the handler on the other dude in the meantime i feel like we should we've got to check out either the morgue or the university where the kid came from because i feel like in the last rp session um, Agent Grady and I were like really going over how like if he sort of cracked or whatever triggered him happened at the college sorry my rabbit's acting up you're good, you're good. whatever happened at the college triggered him there's a good chance he might have put the number somewhere or seen the number somehow like he could have spread that that shit there too right or like just like what is going on with that number? Yeah, you know like what what's I mean? Like, going on over there at college? Like, yeah. where where did he, where did this number come from? And you know, he yeah, was a mathematics, good. like a mathematics grad student. Like, he was literally in a grad program for applied mathematics there. So it's kind of like a clear, like you know, maybe maybe that's where. Yeah, absolutely, dude. The math club is into some occult shit. Right. So <laughs> the question is, are you going to take the night, go to bed? Uh, let's, team, let's team huddle here, guys. What do you what do you think? Should we chase down leads with the remaining night? Should we try to. S yeah. And figure I'll, what the you know, tell with me that? what you're. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Tell me what you're. I. Interested yeah, in. I feel like ev we should take advantage of every single second that we have available to us. Yeah. Yeah, it's 8, 10 that's p.m. What, that's what five-hour energy is for. And coke, yes. but, you know. Oh my god, doctor, I never would have... <laughs> oh my god, my good doctor, I mean, my I god. would never, but I recognize I know, the usefulness in this situation. In car. All right, well, I feel like our two priorities are make sure we don't get busted by Agent Cannon, Nick Cannon, can it can can imagine <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> agent 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 canner is gonna totally blow the lid on this so we either have to charisma him or call the handler on his ass we should check the bodies we should there, check, there are uh, no bodies oh they're uh, at the morgue i mean nobody's in the, the house morgue. yeah you could check the bodies at the morgue yeah i want to um, see the um i want to see michael ways yeah let's see the rest of the house Oh, absolutely. We haven't even scratched the house. I felt like there's a second floor as well. So, yeah. So, I mean, like, like, remember, all all this is like, there's these rules and and stuff. It's all kind of like abstractions, you know. I, I I imagine you guys, like Agent Acosta. I imagine you're just like clearing every room for anything suspicious right off the bat, and like, and you don't even really need a roll to understand this. But if you guys, you know, let's say you take like an hour total so it's 8 30 just to like clear the house you know look through the evidence everything like that you've taken about an hour so far and if you want to take longer you absolutely can but so far what you've found is that the the, the only connection that you can find and joe bear you notice this the most is this number is clearly relates to this location, this family, this something about this place and these events is related to this number. But that's it. There's like no like, oh, you know, one of the daughters is like hiding <laughs> a diary of Michael Way somewhere. Like, no, there's nothing like that. You know, it just seems like a normal okay. kind of like 
religious family. You know, they've got... Uh, just... Yeah, the, there's like it's a bit. It's a pretty big house. It's got six six rooms. All the children's rooms seem incredibly normal. Uh, yeah, there's there's nothing indicating that like there's a reason that the this family was shot down. The only thing is this number. And the number's still out on the sidewalk out front, right? Yeah, it's actually a little ways away from the house. Oh, it's at the highway, right. It's yeah, highway. closer to kind of a highway type area. Should we check that area out? Even yeah, well, one of your... The house comes to the end. Yeah, one of your... Um... One of your objectives, to remember, the objectives is to, like, get rid of any evidence of the number. And the number is spray painted in huge fucking letters out there. Yeah, that's um, not good. You can also imagine that, like, pick, there'd probably be photographs of evidence, and those are probably yeah. being stored at the like local police station currently. Yeah, damn. I so badly need a second car. Uh, yeah. the, you have the vision of the, workforce would be huge. You have Thomas Planet, who's on the detail tonight. Who's oh, in a, dog. Who's in okay. a state cruiser. I choose to instantly yeah. go and, and fucking hard press Thomas Blanet because he was tweaking me earlier. Now he now does I have a partner. My... He does have a partner. Okay, I will press his partner too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just saying badass. like in terms of uh, <laughs> in, in terms of just thinking about like who like what you say and how you say it. No, you know sex. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Just to be just to paint the scene correctly. He has a partner. Um I will who wanna come to the police station? Sigs inside, Joe Bear? <laughs> Sigs inside. Yeah, okay. Sigs inside. And then what do you, inside. and then Let's... are you going to do anything about this number? Or are you splitting up? What's the plan? Well, so I think I'm taking Tommy Blanett. He's going to give me a ride to the highway. We're going to clear up. We're going to try to figure out how to clear up that number out there. See what else is going out there. Okay. And then maybe... Joe Bear and I will swing by the police station afterwards. I don't know. Sig's inside. It's, you know, it's a wild night. Yeah, we should try <laughs> to get yeah, Tom. Hit the morgue. That's where the morgue is, right? The police station? No. Oh, the wait, morgue would be at a local hospital. Uh, probably a local hospital? Actually, I don't know. Where the hell? I feel like... Is there like a county mm -hmm. morgue usually? Wait, so why, wait, I, usually it's... I missed why we're going to the police station. Well, because they might have pictures of the numbers. They might have other stuff at the police station, other evidence that we might want to check up on. Especially if they have photo evidence of the numbers, we got to destroy those photos too. Or make it so they never existed in the first place. Yeah, d <clears throat> destroy, doctor, whatever. Dr. Eggman. <laughs> Yeah, instructions. Destroy the numbers written at the scene and all photographic evidence of them in the hands of the authorities. So, yeah, they probably got photos at the station, so... Yeah, I can post the... Um... The thing. Everyone can see it. Everyone should yeah, be there able to see the mission briefing summary. <clears throat> so... Yeah, it's 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 really now it's about finding the evidence and and destroying it. All right, so cigarettes inside. Joe Bear and I were pressing Tommy Blaine, or I don't know. I you know I got some idea how to talk to him better this time, actually, Loki. So but we need to <laughs> ride to the highway. I'm not walking to the highway, dude. I'm not doing it. So. Um, it's not that far. It is walking distance. Like, uh, it, like, he, it was, he, uh, excuse me, um. He chased him on foot to Yeah, the last person to be killed was chased on foot to the highway. So, not actually that far off. There's, like, a little bridge, or a little, t uh, like, over highway overpass nearby that, that you could access by, like, jumping over. Something that's like seems to be oh. what happened, so it's not that far actually. Um, if but if you would, if you would like a ride down there, you absolutely could. 
I'm trying to weigh it because I can walk it there alone. I won't have to deal with the partner, but I might I might take the ride to the police station later. So the division of labor uh, labor force here might be really effective. Okay, so, so you... yeah, I'm gonna go. Th- I'm gonna check out the highway. Okay, Hopefully anybody we'll going with? I could go. All right, Doctor. Hell yeah. Let's go. Yeah, let's, let's go. Check out this highway. But what? Wait, are we done looking at the house? We gotta. The house we'll seems to have nothing left. Yeah, you guys got the house. We got the highway. Let's get the house. Yeah, we'll check the highway. Cool. 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 Okay, so you guys head down towards the highway. Um, like I said, it, there's like kind of like an overpass built, and there's like a tunnel that runs beneath it, so that you can like a walking tunnel, like that you can like go to either oh, nice. side. Uh, of the highway and but there's kind of like a little like uh, embankment or hill that leads up to it that if you know if you were being stupid you could climb up and jump onto the highway theoretically um, and it, it appears that's what was happening in the uh, in the like the scramble that the guy was running away from Michael Way he like tried to run towards the highway and that's where he got gunned down and on the way back, it's not actually on the highway, it's on like a sidewalk just before this tunnel. It's dark, by the way, it's dark out. Um, it's uh, kind of chilly, it's October. You're starting to feel the, the, the wind is starting to pick up, the re- leaves and the trees are starting to rattle. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's, you know, because it's dark, it's a little hard to see because it's painted in red red spray paint like dark mar- mm-hmm. almost maroon spray paint right. um this number and it's pretty big it's like probably 25 feet across like the all the numbers oh, geez. yeah i mean this, you can see kind of why this has picked up such tension it's very strange um so yeah, you, I mean, what what are you what are you thinking? Um, damn. I mean, that's a really big area. Yeah, I I don't really have anything to remove paint with. I don't even have explosives. Um, maybe this is something we could either ask the handler about, or this is something we could t- like task Tommy Blanett's partner with. Like, hey, buddy, you're on Just cleanup duty. Over. Well, it's not so late that you couldn't potentially get to a hardware store. Mm, mm-hmm. <clears throat> Just throwing that out there. I don't want to plant too many ideas in your head, but there are ways to cover paint up or remove, you know what I mean? Like, It is. Uh, I feel like theoretically by now, Jobert uh, and or Acosta would have looked around the garage maybe if there is one for some spray paint oh absolutely uh, instead of paint thinner really. yeah uh, um, there's like paint. a roll for that roll for spray paint <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah definitely uh give me a luck roll at plus 20 percent so if you shift click any of the rolls you'll get like a modification dialogue <gasps> Hello. Oh, 92. Hey yeah, 92. Damn. So, yeah, it doesn't look like the, the father of the Ridgeway estate, <laughs> if you will, was too much of a handyman. I mean, there is some stuff in there, you know, like you'd expect. Uh, but there's no, like, big power tools, no jackhammers, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, you don't find any paint gray paint either um you you do find some paint thinner but it's definitely like not not, not enough. enough yeah not enough all right so cruise it with tommy blanett to the sherwin williams real quick <laughs> yeah. uh yeah <laughs> i don't know if the sherwin williams would be open but uh well dang i don't well, know that <laughs> never necessarily <laughs> stopped anybody either I'm asking, yeah, no, facts. I'm asking Tommy Blanett, like, I'm going to need a ride to the hardware store. So I'm like, we guess we hike it back because we don't have anything to take care of the paint yeah, on the so, scene right now. So tell me so, how this scene looks. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, like, check out so the I'm scene. I'm basically, like, I'm looking at this giant 25-foot. Tom, 
yeah. spray of paint. I'm like, damn, like, <clears throat> usually even if I had my EOD kit, because I'm like, have demolition skill, if I had my blowtorch, if I had anything, I could like burn the paint off the ground, whatever. And we don't have shit. So let's get some paint, let's get some thinner, or maybe there's tools in the hardware store. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Like, but I gotta I'm imagining, you know, those like pump with, sprayers. Yeah. Like, yeah. Can, yeah, something like that. Um, okay, so yeah, to, uh, you guys, you, Thomas like, Planet is like kind of like though. halfway between where you're at and the house. Um, yeah. just so they, like the squad car can kind of keep an eye on both, uh, both areas. And, right. and they keep like doing like a routine where they get a little closer to one house and then a little closer to the other just to keep a watch. They're like patrolling, yeah. Yeah, patrol, there we go. Um, and... When you're on your way back, you see a state trooper vehicle, Crown Vic, uh, and sitting in it is Thomas Blanett and his partner, um, and the brights are on, and they're both drinking a coffee, and they're talking about something. You can't tell what they're talking about, but... All right, so who has the better, like... Charisma equivalent out of the two of us. It's definitely Grady, right? Has the highest persuade or no? Who has it? Who has the nice persuade? Gilbert <laughs> has better persuasion, but Grady has better charisma. Ah. Uh... Yeah, so you and Grady. Yeah, Clay has a right now we're Grady. asking him for a pretty simple favor, TVH, and they're supposed to help us out. So. Um, I don't think it'll be too hard to ask him for like, just a ride there and back. Yeah. You know that got, it wouldn't be, got, you know that it wouldn't be hard to get Thomas Blanett to do it for you, but uh, he had, he, yeah, you, no one said anything about his partner being a friendly, so. I've got a 40 persuade, so I'm gonna go for it, because I think I've got an idea okay. of how to talk to these guys. Okay, yeah, go for it. All right, so basically like, so as we're approaching the uh, car, I sort of motion to Dr. Grady. It's like, let me handle this. I know how to talk to guys like this. Yeah, so Grady rolls her uh... eyes, but agrees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I sort of roll over the driver's side window, and I kind of lean on the window, ironically, like a cop would lean on the window <laughs> yeah, of someone yeah, yeah. during a traffic okay. stop. I'm like, uh, here to explain what you guys are doing here? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was oh, actually a uh... fun, funny guy, isn't he, Lawler? <laughs> Those FB... Lawler, oh, is this your partner? Yes. Uh... Oh my God, I was like, I just came up with a name, but that's the name of a UFC fighter, and that's why the name is in my Johnny head. Lawler. Yeah, no, Robbie. <laughs> Robbie Lawler. Lawler. Yeah, no, this. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, Richard Lawler. You can Richard call me. Lawler. You can call him Dick, though. We all, we all do. <laughs> funny guy. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Dick. We'll say, you know, it's a I'm, pleasure I, to meet your I, dick I, too. Oh yeah, real funny guy. Uh, let's, no, let's, let's calm down. Uh, let's, <laughs> like let's, let's, let's calm down a little bit. So uh, I actually, oh, God, I hate to put you guys out because you know you guys are doing such important work here right now. I'm just kidding. Um, I was actually wondering because uh, we've been tasked with the shit end of the stick here. We're supposed to clean up this uh, this big old scribble this kid laid down. But I forgot the tools over at the truck, and I, you know, honestly, I forgot to allocate a budget for paint removal stuff. I was wondering if you guys, you know, servicemen to servicemen, <laughs> I was wondering if you could give me a favor and uh, give me a lift to the uh, hardware store. Me and my partner, that is. Uh, yeah, Richard Lawler kind of looks at Blanette and is like, <laughs> you hear that, Blanette? They got the suits doing cleanup work. Come on, guy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is what a tax money I'll, goes to. Are you fucking kidding I'll, I'll, me? I'll cut you right there, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I hate to, uh, I hate to interrupt, but uh, I've done seven tours in Afghanistan, so suit. You know, you, I'm not wearing any uh, Ralph oh, Lauren oh, here, oh, buddy. Oh, I, um, <clears throat> uh, my apologies. Uh, I've got nothing but respect for the for the troops. So, uh, hey, I appreciate you know you say, guys. Thank in the you blue, for your you serv a, you, service. Uh, you guys in the blue, you do a, you do a lot. I'm sure. Oh I'm yeah, we're like, over it. we're like the we're Grady like the like. troops uh, back home. <laughs> I'm looking at Doctor Grady like get a load of this guy. I'm like yeah, I, you know, the the boys in blue, you you do so much. I'm really you know you guys don't get enough credit honestly. So I was wondering again, you know, servicemen to servicemen, 
you know, it can just be a little hush hush since, you know, say I'll get you boys another round of coffee on the way back. Uh, Blanette goes, uh, yeah. Come on, Blanette, uh, don't, don't, don't make me shake my uh, ass here. No, for Dick, it. why don't you, I mean, somebody needs to stay here and keep an eye on, on the crime scene. So, uh, Dick, why don't you stay here? I'll bring, uh, our fine agent here down to the, down and to I, the hardware store. And I go, hey, hey, Dick, I appreciate it, buddy. I know, I know watch duty sucks, but I'll make your coffee an Irish one, huh? He <laughs> uh, says, no, no, please, please don't, don't. All right, come on. I, 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 and I'm I, I don't drink. Oops. And I'm whispering. I'm of whispering to Doctor Grady. I'm whispering to Doctor Grady like I can't take a fucking joke. I mean, um, yeah. So Dick gets out and oh, let's go. Uh, he keeps an eye. Yeah, he 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 grabs a flashlight. Oh, he has a flashlight. Um, yeah. And yeah, he's, he's uh, yeah. He 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 lets you guys go. Um, oh, yeah, dude. And you guys, like, kind of leave, and as you guys are kind of driving away, he kind of yells, he's like, Hey, what even? What hardware store is even open right now? Uh, but you guys are already kind of <laughs> dri- driving away. Yes. Oh, this is going to be great. I can't wait for this. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Ami Blanet has no idea oh, what Jesus he's Christ, to Sam. Into. <laughs> Bombs away again. <laughs> Bombs away. Death from above. Bam just doesn't know. It could be like a tic tac that it, that they drop, and it still sounds like a huge bomb. There's some sort of <laughs> nuclear fusion amplification going on. Uh, Dude, one of the one of the new t- uh, contestants on the Great British Bake Off is a nuclear physicist. What? That's insane. Yeah. And that I'm crazy. like, what the fuck are you doing, making biscuits? Go that, back to making fucking their bombs. Cope with the horrors of reality. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, no, I mean, British people are all happy. They don't really give a shit. Uh, also, <laughs> nuclear physicists aren't necessarily, like, nuke makers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, that. <laughs> that's yeah. not really, like, what they do. Most, probably yeah. most nuclear physicists are just no. concerned with the nucleus of the atom. That's all that means. Yeah, I know. He works on nuclear energy, which yeah, is actually exactly. a pretty good thing to be doing. Whoa, whoa. Dropping politics in here is not okay. Okay? Okay. Right. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No politics in this, in this game. Idea. Okay. Ugh. Politics. <laughs> not relevant at all to uh, a game like this. Yeah, we're yeah. navigating the complex bureaucracy of American politics. Uh, okay, so yeah, you guys head off to the hardware store, the hardware store, as Agent Kane okay. would stay, say, and let's switch back to the scene inside the house. Blood everywhere. Agent Acosta, Agent Joe Bear, rifling through the room. I imagine Acosta's kind of like doing the searching and like going through each room, making sure there's nothing like too weird in there, but like every room you go through Acosta, it's just more and more mayhem wreckage like you can't even you know i mean you've been through some shit but this is pretty bad um i want to make you roll another sanity check almost just like really see the whole house but you already rolled a sand check just for the or already so. hit him with another one <laughs> yeah i could hit y'all with another one but there there'll there i think there will be enough there'll be, there'll be plenty of sand <sighs> checks yeah, I mean, maybe when and if you see, like, the bodies, um, just maybe, you know. Anyway, um, so, yeah, like, what are you guys looking for anything more specific? Anything else that, like, what do you want to, like, find out, you know what I mean? And if there is nothing, if you feel like you have everything you want. I feel like I'm just curious fine. about it, but I don't know if it'll actually affect anything. I'm just curious about, like... The lot, lot, the, the latitude and longitude of the house. Okay. That's a good point. Um. Yeah, give me a second, but I can absolutely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I'm definitely prepared for that. Uh, let's just look through my multitude of multitude notes. 
Uh, um, <laughs> okay, so I mean that's kind of like something you would do probably like on your phone, I imagine, with like yeah. Google Maps. Or is there another way that you? <laughs> I don't think there's like a deed laying around anywhere that has no, that yeah. info on it. I don't even Just... know if deeds have that info. Yeah. Just on maps. Yeah, yeah definitely they do not have that info. <laughs> Um, while I'm stalling to find the thing, uh, Joe Bear, um, are you looking for anything specific more? I mean, remember that you are kind of, like, seeing these connections, so, like, what is going through Joe Bear's head? Like, how are you dealing, if you will? Uh, jo Joe Bear's trying to figure out, he's become a little obsessed with the numbers, right? And he's trying to figure out why these people you know um why why the oh christ what's their name the um the ridgeways the ridgeways thank you you know why die why dine a ridgeway um oh, but I, the whitest shade right I think like he's trying to figure it out but also at the same time keeps on stopping at like blood splatter and we'll count like the edges of the blood splatter and, and they all add up to the number <laughs> oh yeah like like the ridges of it. it's like what one two three oh and then there's three in the next little block of blood up here and then another three oh that's three 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 and oh wait that's nine and that's when the number starts over again <laughs> <He's> just like <laughs> is keeping on looking through it and i can't um, remember have you like let your other agents know this Uh, no, not yet, really. I I snapped out of the sand and oh and, and, oh oh. Uh -oh. You're oh. cutting off. What? Your thing <laughs> uh, just jumped as well. Yeah. Classic move there. I think <laughs> if I have both the um, the virtual tabletop and Discord open, it fucks up my computer. It doesn't like that. I think I have a lot oh. of viruses actually. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. oh, dude, you're gonna want to get rid of the woke no, so mind no. virus first, just so you know. Yeah. <laughs> that's probably the thing that's causing the I most think... harm. If you really like think about it on a scale of harm. You're right. Woke brain. Right. Yeah. There is there is just one called system that's taking up five percent of my CPU. Well, you want your system <laughs> to then, be doing uh, something. Supposedly, right? All these service hosts. I don't know what's going on with it, but uh, all right. Um, what I was saying was, yeah, I've gotten obsessed with the blood um, and counting it, and no, um, I haven't told anyone else uh, really that I'm I'm starting to even count the blood right but but they're a little aware that there's like some weird connection with the something's numbers. wrong with you yeah <laughs> yeah like I mean, I my think, awareness I think is so. I can, yeah super high awareness right next to you so i can tell he's kind of yeah i mean you're like looking through the house while i imagine like joe bear's looking more through like the paperwork type evidence just based on your guys's yeah. like skill set um But, uh, what was I going to say? So, yeah, so Jobert, you're just kind of like seeing these connections and you really, you really are seeing them, but they're like fleeting, if you will, if I can like modify the experience just a little bit. It's like, uh, you'll like count the number and you'll see it and then it'll, you'll like close your eyes and it'll be like gone. You know what I mean? It's like well, no, well. nothing really changed about the scene itself. Um, but, but you're not, like, the connection isn't, like, persisting in your mind. Oh. If that, if that makes sense. Um, Sam, yeah, the... I have something. Wait, so the shotgun, can, can I find out what police force it's from? Like, do we not even know? Very good question. All right. Circling back to you to answer your thing about the house, I have the coordinates and I've just posted them. In the chat, uh, the game chat on Discord, or not on Discord, sorry, in, in Foundry. Okay. 
There's eights, nines, twos, ones, and zeros. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, it's like, but it's not. There's, yeah, there's yeah. nothing yeah. like overtly. There. But yeah, it is in there. But um, yeah, I've it's... I've seen a little bit of the number shit, so I'm just instantly I'm sort of like, whoa, what, what's yeah? Something this one, here? I mean, yeah. you're seeing numbers that aren't there, like that aren't in the original yeah, sequence as well. There, so it's like there, you're but... not. It's this one isn't like especially to acosta it's like there's you're not seeing the exact like if there is a connection you know you're just you have but now you have this like maybe you took a screenshot on your phone or something of like what the coordinates said and like you have you have this now um nice. <clears throat> the shotgun how are you looking it up i don't know the serial Whoa. number on it yeah, there is a serial track number. The, I would drive yeah. back to the police station it's issued from. Do I have some sort of way to do that? I don't know. Or could I ask? Or maybe when, when call when, the handler. When Tommy gets back. Oh, call the handler. Wait, can I call the handler? Yeah. Yeah, it's like uh Yes. Would he, would he, who wants yeah. to be a millionaire? It's like a third option. Call call handler. <laughs> On the handler in my mind. It. Like with your accent, he remind he like who he looks like to me is Ira White from the Tick Tick Boom movie, like that, like that, like Jewish guy, like oh, oh dude, no, <laughs> with the glasses and the mustache. He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay you guys. Yes. Yeah. Um. What is that guy actor's actual name? I can't remember. He he's like the the uh like uh the owner of the play place where he puts on the play, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's about right. Maybe a little heavier set. Um, all right, so you call the handler. Um, the handler gave you a secure phone number to call. It's not like a normal, like, 10-digit phone number. It, there's no relation to the, to the sequence of numbers that you can see. Just a normal number, but not a normal phone number. <clears throat> you call it, and uh, you hear on the other line, ring, 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 ring. Banana phone. Sorry. <laughs> God damn it, call back. <laughs> call back to last <laughs> session. Um, fuck me. <laughs> that always <laughs> derails the shit out of me. <laughs> uh, <There>. is... <clears throat> Ah, this is Agent Kane. Agent Kane. <laughs> uh, bless you. Uh, thank you. I was wondering. No problem. I was wondering if you could look up a serial number. Who is this? Crack. Oh, this is Agent Acosta. Uh, Agent Acosta. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, what, what, what was that? Uh, you can, Agent Acosta, you have your alertness of 80, right? Yes. You can hear uh, the sounds of, like, kids playing in the what? back okay whoa well i can hear that you're a little occupied but i just want to ask you oh no no it's okay i said you could call me if you needed me uh he, you can tell he's trying to also be a little he's like a, he's talking a little quietly <laughs> thank you <Adrian. laughs> uh he says uh, so what what was it that you needed i was wondering if you could track down a serial number for a gun to see what police station it comes from. Um, you know, I'm uh home right now. I mean, I could probably get you that in the morning. Is that uh is that all right? Yeah, that should work. All right. Uh, yes. I'll give you a call back in the morning. Uh, but yeah, I'm at I'm at home. I don't really have access to those kind of databases, if you know what I mean. Uh, no, no, I'll be right there. Well, if, there's, well, if there's anyone that you might know, be right there. Uh. That, uh you know, speed it up, but it's not. Yeah, you know. I mean, uh, they probably have that down at the local police station too. I mean, uh, you know, a way to look up serial numbers down. At, you know, you said that you probably go down there if you needed anything. Uh, no, I'm I'm about to be off the phone. It's just, it's just a friend from work. Uh, all right. Um. All right. Yeah, I really do gotta go. But uh, yes, if you if you still need it by the morning, I can help you out. All right, we'll be in touch. <laughs> Love, love you too. <laughs> Just kidding. He doesn't say that. 
Yeah, his wife would be pissed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's just like a terrible, he's terrible at operational security. Terrible liar. I love you too. I mean, I mean, I mean, I love you. I mean, I, mean, I uh, had butt sex with, I mean. I mean, I miss you. I'm I mean, uh, I mean, I want to phone. <laughs> Honey, I'm, on, I'm just on the phone with the, uh, the bathhouse. I mean, um. <laughs> it's the Tur Honey, the Turkish bathhouse is calling. The Turkish bathhouse. <laughs> <laughs> um. That's like that's the best. If you're ever gonna get caught in a, an affair, it's it, it should be that you've been secretly going to a Turkish bathhouse and having like just the most amazing gay orgies. It's like super gay <laughs> sex, though. <laughs> yeah, that's the way. That's the way to do an affair. You know what I mean? Really yeah. doing it up. Yeah, it's like more valid for reason than like you know just regular cheating. <laughs> Totally valid reason. It's yeah, like that's, 100, that's, a, that's well, very that, that, valid. For me, it's like it was a secret, and now it's like, <laughs> you know, like you, you know, yeah. she never knew she was gay. Yeah. You, anyway, you've learned a lot about Agent Kane today, but uh, no, like you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oops. Um. Yeah, yeah. So let's switch back to the car ride <laughs> with Agent Planet. Planet. And uh, Grady and oh, Waldorf. So Blanet's like, oh man, I can't believe we're doing this. You you don't really need to go to the hardware store, do you? Uh, where are we really going? Come on. Oh, you don't have, you don't have to tell me. It's a need to know. Am I am I right? I told Blanet I wasn't I wasn't fucking kidding with you. We gotta go to the hardware store. Oh oh. Well. I mean, I was kind of thinking, I don't know of any hardware stores that are open right now. Uh, this is a small um, town. This this isn't Newark. Open <laughs> doesn't necessarily <laughs> yeah. dictate much. What Dr. Grady said, Mr. Planet, uh, due to operational reasons, we're going to have to do some on-site procurement at a local hardware store. So, I mean, where's, this close, where's the closest one, buddy? Let's see that wheelman action. So, you know, in Alliance, New Jersey, there's a Home Depot that does say it's open till 10 p.m. All right, Home Depot okay. is then. All right, we can do it the legal way, I guess. Absolutely, <laughs> I was ready to bust through. I always would like to do that. He says, hey, well, well, before we do anything like that, I mean, like I said, I, I'm not going to do anything like that. That's your world, but... um. I was think, I the, home, I think the Home Depot might be open. Let's just check there first. <laughs> And I'm, I'm, oh, whispering yeah. Dr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm whispering to Dr. Grady, like, yo, we can still steal from self-checkout. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you don't no, want to leave a paper trail. I trail. always steal the Reese's. Don't worry. I always steal Reese's. So I've taken five bullets from my country. I'm going to take a fucking Reese's from the Home Depot. <laughs> but I mean... <laughs> Dude, one time my friend taught me, like, this, like, genius way. To steal when you're doing a self checkout, and this yeah. is like, this is the banter in the back of the car right now with Blanet like somewhat. Well, he's, yeah. like, he's got like you know the the smooth jazz on right now. He's sipping his coffee, but he's sort of like, like somewhat half aware that we're like talking crazy back there. <laughs> yeah, it's like you. Oh, dude, you got you got like a hack for self checkout, like because Walmart, you know, they've got the cameras now. Yeah, you know, it's really hard, but and I usually only do it for like nail polish and lactate. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Uh, what? <laughs> You know, uh, with your time with the group, what's uh, what's the craziest thing you've ever seen? I mean, for me, I, I, I mean, I'm just, <laughs> just an officer of the law, but I once, um, I once saw a horse get its head run over by a car. I'm looking at Doctor Radio. I'm like, is this guy serious? Oh my god. <laughs> um. It, it was yeah, a police that's horse. crazier than anything I've ever seen. So. Yeah, I'm, really? I'm like, like the group. Like, I've heard you guys see some like, of the craziest things there are. Mod, I know it's a, it. I'm not gonna lie. Classified, whatever. I know, dude. Just, just give me That's the. Just give me the. That's pretty traumatizing. Oh, you want to? You want to hear a story, Blanet? Yeah, yeah. Give it to me. Tell me all the juicy details. Come on. Yeah, one. You know, one time when I was in, a, when I was in Ramadi, outside this little hut. Ramadi, where's that? Uh, you know, you need a globe to find it. I don't. I don't yes. fucking know. You know, I didn't, they didn't pay me to learn geography, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, I don't own a globe. But uh, we were uh, 
we're in the we're in the Ford operating base, right? We 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 don't get a lot of electricity. It's all it's all fuel generators. So I had this uh, I had this I had this lieutenant in my in my on my team. He was a a big friend of you know those old El Paso frozen burritos. Oh, my favorite got me through many a night shift. Yeah, absolutely right, right. So so we're in the base, and he's uh he said I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Right then he goes to put a put a uh, you know old El Paso in the microwave. Clicks it, minute. It's ticking down. We're all sitting there. It's, you know, nothing's been going on for days. Mm. The microwave, you know, we're all shouting at him. It's, it's going four, five, four, three, two. You know, no one likes listening to the microwave. Oh. To, right, you know, right, Planet. You no always, one likes that shit. You you always, wake the, wake, I always open the door before it ends. Exactly. What do you want to wake the wife and kids up, right? So he goes to he goes to ding the uh ding the microwave open, right? Right as he goes, they hit the off button at one second. Ooh, <laughs> Fucking mortar round tears right through the <gasps> roof. And there's uh, fingers and legs everywhere. No. And the guy's still holding the the, uh, the frozen burrito. I'm looking from the edge of the hooch, and he's holding the frozen burrito. And our uh, sergeant major's finger is sticking straight out of the top of it. So, uh, now there you go. Great bedtime story for the kids. There you go, Planet. Uh. <laughs> uh. God damn. <laughs> yeah, that is uh pretty fucked up. So are we going to the Home Depot now? Yeah, buddy? you guys like Let's just pull up to the you pull up to the Home Depot <laughs> as he kind of says that his like his face gets a little like more blank like that. Maybe that's not like, really Blana, what he was trying to hear, you know? I'm like, oh geez, Blana, I'm sorry, buddy. Here, just uh, pull over in curbside. I'm gonna grab you a Snickers, okay, buddy? I'm oh, sorry. I'm that's, sorry. that's all right. Hey, I'll make sure he pays for that one. You're not paying for that. Uh, she that's... tried to bring my wallet. The wallet is in the other Don't car. I can tell him you pay for it. Jesus. I got uh, money. It's okay. I also. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I also literally have a lock picking kit, right? Oh, let's uh, go. All right. Sure. Home Depot time. <laughs> if you want, is it on you? I don't know. I thought I had one. Like... We kitted yeah. up at the at the vehicle. I thought most of no, us. So. Like... I'm gonna leave my. I'm gonna choose to leave my <laughs> leave my weapons in the car that we're going to Home Depot. So. Well, yeah, I mean, you could have, like, you're an FBI agent, you could have a sidearm, or like a... Yeah, I'll, I'll keep my Glock, I guess, but yeah. obviously, like, I'm not a crazy shit in the car. Take my helmet off, I don't need to wear a Kevlar helmet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, stuff. you're not wearing a fucking Kevlar helmet right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Unequip uh, that real quick. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Alright, um, so we're in the Home Depot, or whatever, yeah. sweet. Yeah, yeah, you're in the Home we're Depot, here. what are you getting? What is your plan? I mean, so, I'm feeling like, so... I'm sort of turning gray. Like, look, I think there's two ways to do this really quick once we get back there. Just a couple of cans of spray paint black to match the road asphalt. And we just get that done real quick. Or we get one of those pump jugs of uh, thinner and we just spray oh, that... it down. And by morning, it'll be all gone. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the pump aerosolizer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I didn't, again, I didn't bring my wallet. So I, it's fine. It's fine. I am a double government employee, so I have a I little. Think, I mean, you're a doctor. I mean, you better not be living in a one bedroom or something, am I right? No, no, three bedroom with two roommates, but it's fine. <laughs> the, state, the state of the economy, am I right? So, <laughs> I guess so. We'll go towards the thinner. I guess we'll go to the aerosolized. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thinner. You guys we'll look for that. find it. It's there. Um, as you're checking out, it seems like like a 16 year old kid who's checking you out. She's got like braces and like curly hair. We're no, we're doing self checkout. Oh, you're doing self checkout. Was she's the one standing like uh, you know like overlooking the self checkout? Yeah. <laughs> right. I wish I all had. Time. I wish I had a camera right now so I could like show you guys how you just like hold. You like scan, but like then you hold the thing. So you have something in your left hand, right? Yeah. And you have two <laughs> things in your left hand. And so you're going to scan the one that's on the bottom under your left oh. hand. Ooh. And yeah. then you take it in your right hand and then you put, and then it depends on if it's one of those self checkouts that makes you put it down in the bag or not. Um, they all do that? A little bit of Not all of them. Hand. No, like CVS does that. But I do remember Home, Home Depot does not Home do that. Dopo. 
Home Depot. Like, Target <laughs> does not do that. Home Depot does not do that. But Walmart and CVS do that. It does. So, oh, well, yeah. that's because Target has like face recognition technology now. Oh hell yeah! Yeah, CVS does. CVS and Walmart all like every place has the cameras. <sighs> and they only will like like charge you when you reach like a sell in amount. Yeah. Well, we're oh, not yeah. doing yeah. that today. Well, should I? Anyways, I'll just, like, sort of cover, I'll talk to the employee while uh, yeah, Doctor yeah, Greedy yeah. does the swipe method, and and I'll yeah. be like, hey, and I did I did tell Blanet I would get him a Snickers, so if you could just swipe it in your like the code or something, or I'll, you know what, I'll grab, I'll do it, I'll grab it, I'll grab it. I'll no, grab no, it. I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, okay. Got it. I, I go, go, got it. Okay, fine. I'm sorry, Doctor. I'm sorry. I'll go over to the employee. I'll be like, so what is this like a summer job for you or something? Uh, um. Yeah. Yes. I guess. You know, you can do like, um, like stuff that'll make a lot more money. Like you don't have to be standing here. You can, I mean, you could do like retail arbitrage. You know, I'm just like, shooting shit. I'm obviously trying to distract her. Like, you do like retail arbitrage. I'm just do you like... like a brother or something. You could flip sneakers. You know, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. You know. Oh my god. Chatterbox. I'm a real chatterbox. I'm sorry. I, I was just a. Uh, do you know? Do you know Is by any chance from I'm, the I'm, FBI I'm... that rude? I'm sorry. No, I didn't. Look, I'm sorry. I, I have a bit. I have a bit of a. I have, you know, I'm I just like working here. While. Like it's look, just Home sorry. Depot. Look, and it's just a costume, by the way. It is October. You know. I mean, I'm I'm trying to get my my outfit together for Halloween, and I'm also trying to do this party. And I'm sorry. I was just like a little I'm really early bad for at talking to people. Costume. I know. I'm just. I'm just really bad at party planning, so I wanted to try to get some of the stuff out of the way today. Do you know where like the party cups, like Red Solo stuff, is? Um, we don't sell that here. It's a Home Depot. Is, I mean, usually you guys would have like stuff for like you know you got grills, right? You got yeah. Propane. I mean, we have like the, the big Halloween like displays if you want. Uh, they're just a down giant, there. But are you joking? I don't want a giant. Yeah, display. yeah, babe. Like can you giant go get vamp? that? I, yeah. Can you go show him that? Like, babe, can you get that? I'm gonna just check the rest of the stuff out though. <laughs> like, okay, yeah. Why I are you guys I'll, trying to steal? It's like eighty dollars worth of stuff. Like, why are you I'll, trying to I, steal I guess it? I'll try to, I guess I'll try to just go over it. Can, so, I, actually, those displays sound great. Can I see the uh, the displays? Can you point those out? Yeah, Which they're just like right that? over there. You can't miss them. It's a giant vampire. I'm sorry. I didn't like. He's like I twelve just... feet tall. Like you can see him from here. And then, I just sort of like all of a sudden <laughs> just collapse into the candy display oh what knocking candy what are you fucking doing? everywhere oh my god oh, what are you god. stop I'm it no just... oh. oh it's oh like 20 god. minutes before close <laughs> oh. oh dude i think there's like a wet spot are you here drunk? or something and Get i'm, out of our I'm store, looking at please. i'm looking at grady like grady are you done like please Finish like... Paying. okay Get babe out of the store. i'm just gonna wait outside for you okay is that work I'm gonna wait outside for you. Are FBI I'm, agents supposed just, to be dating like that? <laughs> I just, I'm just causing a public mess everywhere we go. <laughs> yeah, just drawing attention to yourself. Okay, you. Like, oh, dude, I think my knee is fine. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna get a good to the car. I'm sorry. I just. I mean, are you gonna pick that up? And you're like hey, walking out no, of the I store. Mean, yeah, like I'm briskly walking away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> you just hear it. <laughs> you walk away. Um. Okay, you guys get out of that situation. That was so smooth. I don't know what you're talking about. That so was the smooth. smoothest situation ever. Yeah, you guys are it's, opting to steal. It's really easy no to reason. talk a bunch of nonsense to someone and they'll just like be totally blank stare looking at you and like nothing else. Yeah, so. she really wasn't paying Agent Grady much mind until she was like, babe. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so boom, uh, we got paint thinner and presumably a Snickers for Tommy Blanet. <laughs> yeah, you, nice. got, you guys got Snickers. Let's go. I'm more excited about the Snickers and the paint thinner, honestly. <laughs> I got less Reese's, but... You, like, had it in your hand the whole time you were talking to her. She, like, didn't even notice, you know? The red Snickers. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, I got I brought this. I brought this in from another store. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what so I, I go, We're say. going back to the car. And I toss the Snickers through the window to Tommy Blanet. Oh, hey, like, they... See, I'm... You know, 
Hey, thanks. And I'm I such, just I'm not, wanna, I'm not oh, such a bad guy. Sorry, sorry for earlier. I didn't mean to like bring up any bad memories or anything. You're good, buddy. That I was lying the whole time. It's we tell that kind of shit to everybody who asks. Oh. Just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was just fucking with you, Tommy. Come on. Oh, buddy. That makes me feel a lot better because I was like, oh man, I really messed this up, but. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I realized I pushed a, I, I could you, have been like... pushing a boundary and I did not want to Come do on, that. I don't want to lose you're... my good status with the uh, with the group. With the know? group, yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, do, I wouldn't do that to a new friend, Tommy. <laughs> Go the rest of the shirt. I, I would, I wouldn't tell you some fucked up shit like that, buddy. All right, we should, we should get really back get highway. back before um. Yeah, let's get back to the highway there. Uh, yeah, and okay, so you guys get back to the highway, you guys get back to the house, highway, like the whole crime scene area, and uh, by this time, like, Joe Bear and Acosta, I think that there's not much else for you to find in this house, um, barring any specific things that you're interested in, which I'd be happy to tell you about. Like I said, it's all just, um, just a very sad situation that's just regular religious south new jersey family probably amish you know that's not just kidding <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> probably amish you know no uh what's the other one not Mormon. amish no no <laughs> no um mennonite 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 no i almost Jaylen. said <laughs> Jaylen, do you... mennonites would not no yeah, they're 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 men of the night, and <laughs> you can just kind of tell that from you get you that vibe from the house. Like, Baptist, and that's like plenty yeah, religious. Let's say Baptist. They're probably okay. like Mennonite Baptist, and you I'm find and <laughs> you. <laughs> you <leave>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you, okay, so you leave, right? Anything else? Any last things you want to do in this house before? No. Okay. Yeah. Um, no. You get back, and now you the next thing you want to do is clean up this shit, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Spray paint it down. Yeah, it's like thin painted. Yeah. The like thinner. We're just gonna melt it off the highway, basically. Oh wait. Wait. Should we plant evidence or something? We yeah, should. Because don't, don't we, we have do to like... with that phone? We the already... phones are still... yeah. Unless Joe Bear messes with the phones, yeah. Okay, just we gotta do something else. I forgot about that. So oh, to... do I have Let's the high sig int for the, the phones there? What is your sig int? Good question. Hold on. Let me check really quickly. You have a 20. Okay, that's not that high. Someone that's not that, that high, high, but not, that's Digging. like that's more than <laughs> most awesome. people. That's still that's like that's more than most people. You know what I mean? Like most people don't have any sigint. Um. So, yeah, I mean, I don't think your signal in. Hmm. Why don't you give me the sigint roll and just see what happens, right? Maybe. Yeah. Well, also, I feel like it's it's just one. One of the numbers, and it's one of the like eight digits of this fucking. Oh god, Joe Bear cannot roll for his life today. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, you're just yeah. not able to crack the phone, unfortunately. Um, next best thing, love letter, baby. Like handwritten. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> or typed or something. Type oh, type little... might be a little better. You'd have to <laughs> soak it with gasoline or something if you read it by hand. Yeah, to like obscure the handwriting analysis type situation. Yeah, fingerprints and handwriting. Yeah, yeah, they would blur the handwriting and also melt off any fingerprints on the paper. <sighs> I don't um, know. They're at the house. I'm in a car. Okay, yeah. So, are you, and just to be clear, you're cleaning this site. Who's doing the cleaning? I'll spray it down. The doctor shouldn't have to, you know, get their hands dirty. And are no, you doing you. this in the view no. of Robert Lawler? Or Richard Lawler? Oh, Lawler is, Richard Lawler's Lawler? There. No, I'm going to say Wait, there's a... Snake is the highway in view of the house? Yeah, it's like down the street. 
Um, he's like waiting on the highway for uh, Planet to come back. So he's just been kind of like him... doing his patrol by foot. Like it, it's not hard to do by foot. You know what I mean? Can I just tell him, hey man, like I got you a. There's a Snickers waiting for you in the uh, in the squad car. If you want to go grab that. Yeah, yeah. He, he no, up. he like yeah. Planet drops you guys off. You guys get out of the car and everything. He gets back. Oh into shit! The car. We were supposed to grab coffee. Let's just we retcon. can just say I that you guys <laughs> grab some coffee <laughs> real quick. Grab some Irish coffee, yeah. Yeah, a fucking <laughs> a nip and, and... <laughs> nip and some Starbucks. Yeah, no, I mean he speci he, he, he specifically <laughs> said don't get me any don't and he didn't want alcohol. Okay, said well he I'm doesn't having drink. his alcohol then. Okay. I'm having his alcohol. And yeah, no, so like he's totally in the car, but now they're just on their regular patrol in the car. And okay, well can I try your... to sneakily start spraying you? Yeah. Yeah, do you want to give me a roll or something to see if uh, how sneakily sneaky you are? I'll roll off stealth, yeah. Yeah, give me a stealth roll. Let's see. 49. LFG. Nice. Um, yeah, so you're able to kind of like time the cleaning of this in such a way. I mean, you already said like you are going to the Home Depot to get cleaning supplies, so you kind of gave up your plan already. Like if you didn't want him to know that. But uh, you don't. He doesn't actually see you uh, yeah. doing it. So you time it in such a way that like it's always on like the other end of his patrol. And I'm gonna say it takes about it's about ten o'clock now, you guys. So you've been out here about two and a half hours total. Um, just maybe even ten, like fifteen, with like the between. Um, what do you call it? Like between. Going to Home Depot, checking the whole house out, checking this, cleaning everything. It's about 10, 15 p.m. So what is on the docket for the rest of the night? I mean, are you ever going to get back to the motel? You feel oh, like yeah. in, in the, you feel like you've, you've sufficiently like sprayed this shit down with paint thinner. All right, word. Um, so then I guess we should regroup with the other with Joe Barron, um, Agent yeah. Acosta down at the uh, the house. So I guess we'll start hiking back there. But I'm still sort of like, I'm, I'm still sort of mulling things over. Like there's so many things we've yet to, you know, tie a knot. We've, you know, we've got the easiest thing so far, which is cleaning the highway. You've got a nice yeah. little bow around that, but there's a lot of yeah, it's a, Yeah, there might be pictures of that. And yeah. there's our other stray end. So yeah, Agent Banner is on our ass. There's okay. evidence of the station, the gun, and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, Kane suggested that they're probably keeping like photographic evidence and stuff like that down at the uh, police station. Or sorry, no, Kane said that you could probably go down to the police station to like see if they can Find trace the, serial the number gun. gun. Yeah, yeah, trace that serial yeah. number. Um, you would also just know that they're probably keeping the photographic evidence down there just like because they have evidence lockers It's like the most local place that they have evidence lockers um, So can we Sorry Yeah, yeah, say no say what you got. can Can we try to convince Thomas to bring us there check the gun I mean we've got our own car. We don't need to ask him well, I know, but I guess if we're FBI, I guess okay. All oh, right, and Tommy, Tommy's been a nice we're guy. You can still help us FBI. Out. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, his well, detail well, is nice. here tonight. So, I mean, if you guys are done with this okay, okay. area, it's probably best you guys go on your own. I think. Yeah, that's true. Totally, totally. Sorry, I was just like. I'm just thinking, like, uh, just because be like, all right, <laughs> Lawler, get out of the car again, yeah. like. <laughs> No, literally. Poor Lawler. He's out in the cold all night. <laughs> yeah, it's like... <laughs> what the fuck? Like, where do you guys keep... You know, the more you do that, the more and more suspicious it's going to be. It's already kind of strange. You guys, And you're already here at, like, well past the time that uh, <laughs> Agent Canner said he wanted everybody out of there by, so... No, should no literally. Yeah, let's bounce. I gotta shwack that <laughs> Yeah, let's take a... Okay, I think it was a good place to take like a five... Let's say seven minute break. Is that cool with everyone? Sure. All right, cool. All right. Be right back. Boom. We're back. And we left off where you guys were deciding what to do next. 
you've thoroughly explored the house. You have kind of the all the preliminary evidence you've you've, you've gone through, and now you kind of are at a decision point. Do you call it a night, go to the motel, or do you maybe go to New York, check out his mm-hmm. dorm? Do you even know where his dorm is, even if you made it to Columbia University? How would you get that information? You go to the police station, the local Alliance New Jersey police station, where you might be able to find, uh, you might be able to access some database that could tell you where the uh, shotgun came from. I mean, hell, they might have already, like, processed that information and have that somewhere there already, you know? Um, You, and you might also be able to find some other evidence down there, cook, cook the books a little bit down there to try and cover things up that's totally up to you guys like what do you guys think we gotta do that like like we have to cover now that's part of it right that is part of it yeah oh yeah the sooner the better you you guys kind of know like the sooner the better before this like the evidence keeps going up the chain right yeah it's getting time is of the essence Yeah. Our but, should... What does that look like? I mean, it's no simple task. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I'll be honest, just like lifting the curtain a little bit, like, it, like, I don't know how you guys are going to do this. <laughs> I haven't thought of the solution per se. Uh, <laughs> you know, there isn't, there isn't necessarily. That gives me so much less anxiety. <laughs> wow. <laughs> No, we got this. this well, I'm saying that's like what the like fun of it is on my end too. Is like you know what I mean. There's not like one way to just solve the problem. I never, mm-hmm. I didn't anticipate you, us... you guys trying to go to the Home Depot, for example. Like that's that was all you. That was not. How are you giving us such a challenge though? And you uh... don't even know how you would do it. But we got it. Well, I have my own. I, idea. I have it. my own ideas how I we would do it, it if I was in your shoes. But yeah. it doesn't mean I have like you know the way that to figure it out that's that's what we're all here to figure out together um let's hit the team huddle i think that definitely the police station is a high priority in the back of my mind i think the other thing bugging me out is the fact that agent canner he's trying to like see what the hell is good with us because we made a very flashy and loud entrance Mm-hmm. Um, true, but if we just like never see him, will we? Will it catch up to us? If we're um, in I Columbia, mean, if we're in Columbia, Rose University. Legit, oh, I was like, Rose Col- why le- would you be in Columbia? <laughs> so, yeah, the country yeah, and then, yeah, yeah, the university. Rose the, le- Rose the only legit FBI agent. It's true, like though, around, yeah. so he he's gonna find us if he wants to. I mean, I mean, like, sure, we could try to evade, but. We gotta finish this case too. We can't just dip yeah. and run. Well, we could we could stall by going to Columbia, but you know that's um, that's been on the docket since we drove here. Just to check that out. So again, really? division of division of labor is going to be important here. But without um, the the state trooper guy, Tommy boy, we're not going to have a second uh, set of wheels. So we'll have to figure that out. And the handler, he's at home. Because I was sort of talking to uh, Agent Acosta, because we're soldiers, you know, so we check in with each other often, make sure yeah. that you know, everything's clear and safe. I'm like, so what's the deal? Let's Should say I... you guys have all caught each other up on like what you've yeah. done and figured out and everything. The only question about that is how much is Joe Bear telling you about what he has found? Oh, the number. I mean, shit. it sounds. Oh. I don't know if anything has changed, but as of last time, you were keeping it fairly close to the to the vest. Or to the chest. I've got whatever. 60 alertness. I feel like I would notice him being a little squirmy or his eyes darting around or something. Like, I'm supposed to be trained to notice, like, it's true. I kind of think of alertness up. as like a more of like threats, and you definitely don't sense oh, okay. anything threatening. You know what I mean? That's alertness true. is like threats and like kind of like environmental things, whereas like I think that kind of thing that you're talking about is a little more on the human side, the human intelligence. That's um, fair. That's fair. Yeah, so I mean, you notice that he's been like quiet and stuff, but it, what exactly you know, does that mean? You're not sure. Like, he is also new to you, right? So it's like, this Yo. could just be his personality. Agent Grady has 30 psychotherapy. He could try to sort of like use that to see if he's exhibiting any weird 
Yeah, that's true. Um, and she does have 20 humans. So I think, yeah, I think Agent Grady, especially got a chance. having been on, got a chance. Yeah. on a on a mission on two missions with joe bear by now you you can tell he's acting he's a strange guy but he's acting a little more like quiet than usual he's a little more like aloof usually in today's yeah now, since since the crime scene is being a little more quiet with a 30 though i don't think you can tell like why i mean you know this crime scene would shake anybody so it could just be that you know what i mean with, with, with a 30 and without like talking to him about it um right and Joe Bear, any updates on that? You're telling them anymore? You're kind of leaving it where it was that like there might be some connection, but you're not going into details. Yeah, I'd say it, it's more of a like if if they were to really watch me and like watch me all the way through something, they might notice. But we're all so busy, you know, like going about doing our own thing that they don't notice the the few times where I stop and just start counting thing. <laughs> oh God. Right. Right. Well, yeah, so I should be for myself too. In the audience, Joe Baird really doesn't want to believe in that now. Yeah, and and um, I will say, after a little bit, it is it's like that feel, like the pervasive like feeling in your chest is kind of like it's starting to fade. So it's becoming less uh, of a thing as as time goes on. Uh, just keep that in mind as well. Uh, all right. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So. Team Huddle going to the police station? Was that the... I think, yeah, we gotta do that. And, okay. I think that sounds like a good plan, honestly. Yeah. Yo, if, if we go to the police station, maybe I can uh, <laughs> commandeer a vehicle. You can't... <laughs> no, no, no. We're not, oh, we're not stealing from the police. <laughs> we can steal from Home Depot. Oh. We need a car. We need another car. Or a motorcycle, that'd be cool too. We might be able to ask for one while we're on this assignment. That's fair. That I is want... something we could ask for a freaking handler, maybe. I'm asking Joe Bear for another cigarette. It's been like two hours. Fair. Okay, yes, you can have a cigarette. But what I think we should do is call our handler and just, you know, tell tell our handler that the FBI agent who's named Motel 6 has... Oh, seen a few too yeah. many numbers. He's yeah, definitely seen a few too many numbers. And then we should all drive up to New York. The handler needs to help get that guy off our back for sure. I, yeah, I'm, well, I'm for you know, splitting. Picture. I'm for splitting to go to police department and Columbia University. If the handler is able to smooth things over even a little bit with Agent Cannon or even stall him, that'd be all we need just to get a little head start here. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to him him coming and guns blazing or like he's gonna you know dour the mood mid investigation with some bullshit ruin art or cover or something and you know yeah yeah you definitely don't want him looking too deep into your cover because it is it's it's like well put together but it's not bulletproof you know ironclad yes so uh. Are you gonna make another call to the handler at his house? He's Thanks, probably putting so. Maybe we to can. Bed. We can do that in the morning. Yeah, he said tell him in the morning when uh, yeah. Agent Acosta was calling. So. Yeah, we yeah. can. All right. We so can tonight, what's happening? Tonight we're going to the right. station. station. Station, and I'll see if I can bum a ride. We'll go to New York. Okay, and uh, one more thing is, do we want to go to the morgue at all? I'm assuming the morgue is close to the police station, um, but I don't know if there's anything su that could be super important on the bodies because their personal items would be at the police yeah, station. Yeah, their effects are in evidence lockers. Um, if you want to see the bodies, you absolutely could try. Um, it's late, you know, generally viewing hours are not at this time, but you are you do have FBI credentials, which can help get you into a lot of places. So you know those morgue employees, they're weirdos, so you just gotta know yeah. the right kind of bribe. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, yeah, it might, I don't know, yeah, it might be worth it, but let's go to the police station. Yeah. yeah Everyone in the station, car. Alright, you guys head into the car. Uh, I'm still smoking, and we're back in the car, by the, the way, two, so secondhand smoke. <laughs> the two state troopers uh, wave, wave you goodbye as you leave. 
I'm like, uh -huh. drive safe, Tommy, out the window. It's all right, thank you. The group. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <Don't say> the, <laughs> group. <laughs> the group. <laughs> he winks. He's like. I would almost expect him to do that. <laughs> yeah, no, no he's not that bad. He's not that bad. Uh, he's repping the set like. <laughs> um. So, yeah, he says that, and you guys bounce, and you head down to the police station. It's really like dark out right now, although there's a there's a full moon, um, but the clouds are kind of obscuring it. So there's kind of this like diffuse uh, light in the town, but it still it still feels very dark. It's hard to make anything out uh, really clearly without the headlights. <clears throat> you guys like kind of uh, how are you how are you navigating the police station? You got your phone out? Yeah, just Google Maps it, yeah. bro. Go bear, yeah. Clay is riding shotgun, helping. Yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah. Clay is on navigate, and yeah, you guys make it to the police station. The lights are on there, although, but it's a small town police station, so it's it's the lights are on in the building, but it's still not shedding much light. It's kind of dark. It was, uh, uh, autumn fog is kind of setting in, and uh, it's uh, yeah, the police station is like this big brick building. It says Alliance Police uh, Department. And you guys walk in. Front door, baby. Yeah, front door. It's it's actually uh, locked, and there's like a little uh, buzzer to, to call. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, can I help you? Yeah, um, FBI here to look at, into the... Uh... Oh, shit, what was their fucking name? The Ridgeway case. And yeah, we're looking into the Ridgeway case. Yeah. Can you put your badge up to the to the intercom? Yeah, sure. Uh, you hear a little yeah. buzz and the, the sound of like the door magnetic lock uh, disengaging, and the door unlocks. Are all four of you going in? Yeah, I think so. First, yeah. I would assume. Yeah, I'm about to ask for some transportation if I can. Is it weird if we all go in? No. no, we're on a team. Yeah, we're on a team. In Criminal Minds, they always bust in there. There's like six of them. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Seven of them. They'll walk in. And they'll, like, they'll, they'll walk in. They'll be like, all right, where's our prepared office lunch and feet <laughs> and iPads for all seven of us? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not even sitting in. Where's my Starbucks? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, so you guys walk in. And uh, there's kind of just, <laughs> as you get in, there's like a long hallway and down at the end of the hallway, you go through like a window door um, that leads into like just an area with a bunch of cubicles where the police are like writing reports. Uh, you can see there's like a room marked evidence. Uh, and there's kind of like a conference room uh that looks like it maybe was set up for the fbi earlier today as like a little you know operations area uh you can see there's like a, a blackboard in there and some you know, like pages and stuff like what looks like evidence pages um kind of posted onto the blackboard and with some writing um and you see a receptionist and uh, the fbi is here uh, what do you need? What 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 you doing here so late, huh? We left some stuff in the conference room. We're just coming to pick it back up. <laughs> yeah, just gotta wrap some stuff up. All right. Well, let let us know what you need. I turn to Joe Bear, and I'm like, I'm glad to see someone else is still worried about Columbia University. Maybe we should find a way out of here. See if we can get some wheels. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, right you are. Um. <laughs> <laughs> right you are. <laughs> you're, a funny, you're, a funny, you're a funny dude, aren't you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> a a a right. Absolutely. Um, right. So should we ask, like, the in your uh, expertise as a you're, you were a uh, IRS guy, right? Yeah, yeah, ab absolutely. Um, 
you know, I'm sure you do that. Such. Oh my god, you says he says numbers with emphasis like that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm like, all right, this guy's a little eccentric, but I sort of I've been sort of wa- keeping an eye on him since we were looking at the oven and stuff, and I'm like, he was sort of frozen there for a minute. He didn't really show it. He played it off pretty well. Like yeah. He was just looking at in shock of the crime scene, but I sort of saw his eyes dart to the oven when I was also checking it out. So I'm kind of like trying to keep Joe Bear, you know, yeah, under yeah. watch as well. Yeah, for sure. So I don't know, man. I don't feel like if I'm if I'm starting to feel the glance of these numbers, I'm like, who else? is already in, infected or whatever. Mm. Yeah, find out where this shit came from. <gasps> but I can't, I'm not walking to New York, that's for sure, so. <laughs> I mean, you have wheels, you could just wait till you're done here. Yeah, we just go after. Yeah, just I to that. drive. <laughs> every minute, every minute counts. I, know, I just don't but... know how you're gonna, like, convince a police officer to let you borrow a police cruiser, you know what I mean? Yeah, they're gonna be like, what, what you're FBI? at? <laughs> Well, exactly. Oh, yeah. 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 So why don't we have? Yeah, resources? they're like a small <laughs> town. They've got like three <laughs> cruisers. Oh, that's, that's why in the morning I was just gonna see if our handler could get us like another car, a company car, you know, like, <laughs> the group car. Front, front the cost for. for I mean, a, I want to remind you too. Like rental. you're perfectly capable of going to a rental place and renting a car for a day. Shit, I forget that this is in the mechanics. I can go to like, um, fucking, yeah, like Zipcar. <laughs> yeah. So let's, like, we got time. I think. Yeah, yeah let's, you know, pick the, let's pick out the police let's station. Let's check the police station. So what are you uh, doing here? Let's see what was on the cost is so right. Yeah, let's go check out, like, what they have posted. Like, what's good? What are they posted? Also, who is around? Who's in the police station right now? There's not that many people. There's like an overnight late, yeah. receptionist uh, who, yeah, it was like this bald guy. Um, he's the guy who like buzzed you in. Um, the receptionists in these places think they're cops. You know what I mean? They're like, yeah. They're like, yeah, I'm, a, I'm just as important yeah. as the police. <laughs> uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And <clears throat> and there's like a few other guys just like writing reports. Um, uh, yeah, just like two or three other police officers in there. It's okay. Kind of sparse at this time of night. And like, could they, like, would they see us if we're in the evidence room? Like, um, not necessarily. Maybe. All right. Well, let's like get in the evidence room. You could try to. Uh, are you trying let's to stealth have somebody. On in? Yeah. Well, not stealth, but just like let's go in, and I kind of want someone to be covering the entrance in a way that doesn't look super suspicious, just like kind of, you know. Yeah. Um, the evidence room, you would guess, is locked. Like, you would need a key to get in. Which probably all the police officers have, but... Oh, okay, yeah, so... Yeah. I was gonna say, we should just use our FBI credentials and just ask. I don't know. Yeah. So... Well, it's not me, but someone else would <laughs> ask that guy. I, I tap on Grady's shoulder. Uh, yeah. I kind of put, I kind of okay. nudge her, I kind of give her a little no, nudge yeah. towards the uh, <laughs> reception. Okay. Sorry. Sophie is very high right now and is just coloring <laughs> furiously. <laughs> okay. um, Brand, Brandon good. McGill rubbing yeah, off on that's you? That's good. <clears throat> yeah. Brandon Gill, definitely. Brand. Dark Brandon. Dark Brandon. <laughs> what Let's are these go. roles? Uh, oh, sorry, I'm... Joe Bear gives. <laughs> Joe Bear starts to <laughs> swim. Hey, what are we even rolling for? A swim? No, he, 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 <laughs> Wait, I can definitely swim. <laughs> Joe, Joe Bear just goes on a swim in the fucking. Practice his backstroke. <laughs> All right, everybody, give me a swim roll. <laughs> I failed swim oh, by dude. six. That's my first fail in the entire, in the entire playthrough Wait. so far. I haven't failed once. Make sure it's... Get dangerous waters. Make sure. Come on, swim. 
Oh wait, I so just do want to remind, that. if anybody has made a roll and they failed, not these swim rolls, but any other roll, and you failed, failed, you get to mark it off. Um... Oh yeah, did I fail on anything? I feel like I didn't fail. I don't think I have. Okay, but these swim rolls don't count, but only... The soldiers can't swim for a shit right now. We're cooked, unless I get boat. We're cooked. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are fucked. Those... You, guys you guys all start all drowning. drowning. <laughs> you guys all start dry drowning on the police on station floor. On the police floor. station. It's like, <laughs> on the police station. What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> Somebody get help! Get help! <laughs> Can I pass the drowning to my bond, my ex wife Yeah, you can project the drowning damage from your bond to your bond. That's okay. I'm passing it either to my wife or my um my son, Bobby. I'm pretty sure we're playing this game correctly. Definitely. Okay, by, by the rules. yeah. I'm passing my drowning to Bobby then. <laughs> okay. I'll have to deal with that. <laughs> Okay. All, All right. right. So, police station. So, now, how are you trying it. to get into the evidence room? You trying to gave... nick the keys off of somebody and sneak in? Are you no. trying to just use your credentials and strong arm? Yes, I gave yeah. I gave Agent Grady a very firm pat on the back. Yeah, I'm gonna walk over there. How and low? I'm not gonna be high, and I'm oh gonna be God. a normal human. Okay, like... And I definitely didn't Midra? take three Xanax. Oh shit, Grady, are you popping pills tonight? <laughs> LFG, yo, let's go. Uh, <laughs> all right. So I'm going up to the receptionist. Yeah. Uh, okay. Hi, um, officer, or who are you? Sorry, I don't know how to address a, a <clears throat> you know, the receptionist usually. Uh -huh. Well, I'm not an officer uh, myself, but uh, my dad was on the force for 40 years, so. Ah, uh, uh, so honorary. Boys in the honorary. I like to think of myself that way, you know. I mean, they they couldn't <laughs> do what they do without us. <laughs> yeah. No. Yes. Yeah. So, we. You know, not many people understand that. It's so interesting that you do. Oh my What's god. What's your name, little miss? Well, I don't know my fucking fake name. What did you uh, say last time? Sir. You said something funny last time. What did you say? I didn't write it down. Damn. What did you just say now? We'll just go with whatever you just said now. A uh, fake name. FBI agent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, Mrs. Fake Name. So, uh... What, no. <laughs> what did I say last time? What brought you to the FBI? Fake name. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. You know, <laughs> just kidding, I'm kidding. Honestly... Just watched a lot of TV and was like, that looks cool. Why don't you go with Brennan? Agent Brennan. A Brennan? Yeah, like Temperance Brennan from oh, <laughs> yeah. the Bones. How about I go with Deschanel? Deschanel is the... Temperance <laughs> That's Deschanel. That's two on the nose. <laughs> Uh, yeah, if, if you get to be perfectly. if you get to be fucking whatever Deschanel, then I get to be Terry Luttrell, lead vocalist of REO Speedwagon. No, I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Um uh yeah, uh my name is Agent Brennan. <laughs> um So we did when we were sent on this assignment, we did have a miscalculation of how many people this was going to require. So when we called in one of our, uh, one of my lovely coworkers over there, we, do you guys have any company cars that you could, wait, is that what I'm asking? No, Sorry. no, 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 the keys for the Alliance <laughs> New Jersey PD company car. <laughs> Yo, you, I bet that that's 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 group it. have any cars Anyways. available for us. Hey, so we <laughs> oh, so we just kind of we got in at a different time than we were supposed to get in, and we like, did not I'm get late. to see the evidence, uh, which would be really helpful for us uh, to help you guys on this case. Um, do you happen to have the keys that I could just? Uh, oh, we could ch go check it out. I know it's past company hours, but you know, this seems like a really important case that we're working on, and I don't want to waste a moment. Um, yeah, well, I, I don't have the keys, but uh, somebody, I bet somebody would help you out with that. I mean, of course, it's, well, it's kind of late, yeah. but, well, we, yeah, we can, 
Hey, you can't. You can't. And this hot man comes over. Looks good. <laughs> the, the blues, what does he the, look like? The blues fit him well, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I know what you mean. <laughs> Is he caked up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's yeah he's like you can just tell he's like very strong um he's got the oh, badge wait, the cock print yeah yeah um oh <laughs> like a short yeah. like a cut off sleeves oh yeah it's like yeah, shorter yeah, and he's like very cool. strong and yeah he's got like a he's got like uh what's got hair a BBL. Just, just perfectly <laughs> gelled it's not really <laughs> yeah like gelled back but you know it's like Whooped. Bounces ever Thick so mustache. slightly as he walks over. Yeah. <laughs> Cheeks clapping. Oh, uh, he says, says, Oh, well, what can I help these feds with? Uh, I'm like, I'm uh, sure well, he could help me with a lot. Oh, <laughs> oh, didn't see over there. <laughs> um, We got in a little late, you know? So we're just trying to get stuff, you know, we're just trying to start on this case that we're working on with that recent shooting. Uh, so just didn't know if you could help us get into the evidence locker. You know, I know it's late, but we all yeah, got to work. The evidence locker, time. no problem. Uh, sure, we'll take you right over there. Hey, when did the feds get so good looking? I mean, you and the one over there, I mean, whew. One over there. Wait. What yeah. are you Let's go. Probably me and Noemi, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm like Noemi's poking hot, even though I have never seen the top half of her face, but. <laughs> Dude, it's it's commonly not. Yeah. She's like, She's like those cartoon character parents yeah. that you only see like yeah. the bottom half. Yeah. Um, yeah, just just out of the camera angle. Yeah, and he walks you over. To, he walks you over to the evidence room. Uh, yeah, I was I was not gonna respond to him hitting on me. Just kind of blush and goth. And goth. Agent goth. Hunk, Agent BBL over here is like shooting Officer, alliance Officer New BBL. Is. Officer BBL. <laughs> <laughs> Bro shooting fucking Alliance New Jersey punky cop ribs. Yeah, he's probably like the hottest guy in Alliance New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the hottest guy in Alliance New Jersey? That's my guess. It's incredible. <laughs> what what a, a title to hold. <laughs> right. He says, you know I'm the hottest Walker. guy in Alliance New Jersey. There's a lot of police culture. Jersey. Was there like a uh, was there like a pageant to determine this? I sort of chime in. <laughs> oh, didn't see you there. What? I thought it was just me, me and her. But uh, y yes, well, I, it was a it was a con it was a calendar contest. Oh, that's, that's I got Mister December. Mister oh. December. <laughs> Are you yeah, wearing a Santa outfit? I in heard that? the. Uh, I heard the stockings were hung last December. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right, settle down. I've noticed your cock prints, by the way, and oh must my... I, I, I must <laughs> say, it's very Jesus interesting. Christ. It reminds me of a uh, Led Zeppelin poster. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's, uh, that's. All right, so I've negated his riz. So yeah, <laughs> riz, bro riz broken. Uh, yeah. uh. I've made, I've made it uncomfortable for him, so now he wants to just show it. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, here's the uh, evidence locker. I'm pretty proud of it. I, I just organized it myself. It looks great in here. Okay, it well, here. we'll do our best to not fuck it up. You better while not. While they're looking, while they're starting to look Last thing we around. need in this town is feds poking around. <laughs> poking around, peering around. We can do our jobs, you know. I just want to say that. I'm sure you wouldn't. You come mind in here looking all pretty, but we can do our jobs. Oh, we can yeah. deal with this. I mean, we're just here to support you. That's it. That's all. We promise. I mean, yeah, we wouldn't want to distract you for keeping it juicy for uh, next well, December. I mean, huh? if that's if that is really what you want, I mean, I can think of a few ways you could support me. 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> Classic Alliance New Jersey band. Wait, 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 give me a second. We got some rooms at the Motel 6. Wait, so um. question, is the uh, evidence locker open? <laughs> Amazing. Um, is I the evidence in. locker open? I rush in, snorting thousands of grams of cocaine in the back of the lock. <laughs> um, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> you can get. It. Yeah, they're just storing thousands of kilos back there in the Alliance, Man, New Jersey they probably, evidence locker. They probably got one. They probably got one key at least back there. So back yeah, in the so, 80s. Yeah. There's like a lot of like filing ca- like it's like it's, there's a lot of filing cabinets and then there's lockers and then there's like some fridges for biological evidence and um Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can go you can kind of go through it. Um Let's say you roll search. Yeah, 100%. Um you, I mean, you can ask him to direct you to like. <laughs> oh, he's still here. Yeah, I thought the location of the. Still. Yeah, no, he's like kind of keeping an eye, actually. Oh, okay. I shouldn't have mentioned his cock print, probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's really uh, a hit or miss. Thing. I mean, when it works, it works. But when it doesn't, <laughs> you know. I'm like, damn. You know, usually the cock print would work on a lot of the uh, the army guys that would come through. I'm just kind of, you know, shooting, shooting out ideas here. All right. Well, can you direct us towards the specific evidence for this case? Um. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, the the Ridgeway case. I mean, <laughs> that's horrible. I just, I never thought something like that would happen in Alliance. No, devastating. I mean, we're devastating. We're a community, you know, and somebody comes in here. I mean, I heard he was a foreigner and he came here and he just like gunned them all down. Oh, <clears throat> I mean, I don't think it really matters where somebody came from. Oh, Seems no, like no, he was of course. mentally uh, ill. No, I didn't mean it like that. Yes. Oh, and mental illness is a huge problem in this country. I mean, like, yeah, I'm sure everyone's you depressed there. these days, you know? Like it's like yeah. it's like a it's almost like it's popular or something, <laughs> you know. Yeah. I just kind of sit like look at him for a second, just like, and take a deep breath and go. Anyways, how about you show me where that stuff is? Yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, and he kind of like takes you over and he yeah he shows you the location, the locker that like all of that evidence is in, and the filing cabinet, and uh, yeah, he points. Points you there, and he kind of like leaves you alone, but he's kind of still standing by like the door to the evidence room. Um, just kind of like standing there. Okay, this is this might be bold for Martha, but I'm trying to make him uncomfortable, so I just kind of like bent over. Oh, looking like pretending to look at something. <clears throat> and then uh, stand up and go, oh, sorry. Um, oh. Mm. In hoping to get him to be like, mm, I'm just going to walk away. But I don't know if that's what he's going to do. I think that's going to make him stay, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just like, poop. <laughs> no, uh, you just, no, I'm just, kidding. <laughs> just let out a poop. Sorry, Miss uh, Brennan. Uh, can I call you Brennan? Um, sure, for now. Great. Well, well I'll see you a little later then. All right. See ya. And he kind of closes the door, although not all the way. So, All right. yeah, now you guys are right. in the evidence room. Yeah. What are you doing here? Because if, if all of a sudden the evidence is gone tomorrow, like, oh, it's there, and then these four FBI no, agents no, no, walk no, no, in, no. and it was okay. gone. <laughs> what do we find? What evidence do we find? We're also, wait, so are we all in there? 
Yeah, we're yeah, all it's in. Just, all right, let's close the door. For close sure. the door. <laughs> Give me a stealth roll to close the door. Stealth roll? Wait, stealth roll to close the door. I'll close it. Hold on. Where's my fucking sheet? Wait, wait, wait. How much stealth you got? I have that 70. 70. Oh, somebody. All right, there you go. go. Who's 70. closing the door? Somebody close it. Andy, close it. I'm rolling. 19, nice. That's all right. All right, so you kind of just really, like, quietly kind of close the door closed. Close the door closed, and you start looking through the evidence. Who's looking through the evidence? Everybody? I'm looking for the photos, for sure, of any numbers taken. <sighs> you pull out the photos, and there are hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of photos. Polaroids. Hundred. Um, all depicting, and they're all, like, marked, too, like, explaining what they are and everything. And, uh, Clay, you're going through this. I'm going to need a sanity check, because as you're flipping through these photos, you're seeing the gruesome murders of this family. I mean, and it's... I mean, I'm a hardened warrior, so I'm not, like, unused to bloodshed, but let's go. Yeah, it, this is, it's different, you know? Oh, that's fair, yeah. 70, whoa, 71 oh, over 69. 69, damn. Fail. Um, I'm going to need a 1d4. Epic fail. Man. A 1d4. 1d4. 3. You take 3 sand loss. Would you like to project that? Um, Project any of that. Let's say uh, when you project sand loss... Um, you, it's like one bond per use of that, right? Typically, yeah. Okay. Um, nah, and how it would it. work is you would roll a d4, and you would be able to project that much. It's like you don't necessarily get to project all of it, but. Oh, okay. Um, no, I'll just eat it for now. Okay, so you bring your sand down to 66, and I kind of want to know how this affects you. Like, how does this affect Clay? Because he is a hardened warrior, but like. Yeah. This is different. Well, so you know what I mean? This is like this isn't been, a yeah. battlefield. This is like when I was joking with um, the state trooper earlier, and I was joking with Thomas Blanett about you know the worst thing I'd seen. Like I have done, like my character has done many tours in war zones, and has seen a, like a lot of bad stuff, like lost lost comrades, seen innocent people get hurt, like the worst of the worst. But yeah, that's that's you know you know a lot of people a lot of soldiers compartmentalize you know the shit that happens when they're on deployment versus when they're at home they don't you know they don't bring that stuff home they try not to but when stuff opens happens you know countryside like he's looking at a a photo album basically of a slain family and he sort of lost his marriage and left behind his personal relationships for the job a long time ago but it makes him sort of sort of really hits him that like this shit is everywhere. Like, whatever's going down, the bad shit that he saw over, like, on the other side of the world, that wasn't the only isolated incident of these weird, abnormal incidents. Mm. And, like, it's just totally annihilated this family, and it's just really definitely hits him hard. He draws a sh sharp breath as he opens the photo album, and his eyes just sort of scan across each and every picture. And his eye just sort of starts twitching ever so slightly. Yeah, so you're, that's all kind of going through your mind, and you're, you know, you're going through probably <laughs> one of the most, photos, yeah, probably yeah. one of the most brutal ones too is like the photo of yeah. Michael Way, and it's, yeah, when he his, took his own life. Yeah, his head is missing. It's just like the yeah, neck and like blown, the back. Of, yeah, blown it's off. like so fucking gnarly. Yeah. And but as you're going Definitely through, there's hundreds injury. of photos throughout the crime scene, and then there are several of the um, number, some closer up, some farther away. So, does anyone have criminology, forensics, anything like that? Um, I don't know. I have some forensics. What you got? And 53 criminology. What? Oh, nice. I think I between yeah. 30 forensics and 53 criminology, Jobert, you kind of know that, like, you could probably get rid of the photos of the number. And you could probably erase the, num the traces of the number while still leaving everything else. 
And yeah, it might ruffle some feathers, or like it might <clears throat> draw some attention, but like it might just go down as like a procedural error that nobody ever took a picture of that before it was clean. You right, probably, right. You, you know what I mean? So like, like you could, le and, and honestly, it's and it was smarter to leave most of the evidence behind, right? Like t when you're lying, tell as much of the truth as you can. True. Um, I also well, do really. have my own evidence collecting kit, by the way. So if there are any like small, sa like if there was samples taken, like I also do <sighs> have the ability to take small parts of those samples. Yeah, there's various. So Grady, maybe you're going through like some of the, maybe you and Joe Bear are, like going through biological. some of the paperwork. Or, oh, yeah, yeah, you're going through, yeah, which like lists the biological samples. Maybe that's what you're looking yeah. through. And Joe Bear is looking through more of the like, uh, procedural paperwork things, you know, like, because you log evidence, you, you're going to log all the photographs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Let's say mm -hmm. there's also a computer, because it's probably all digitized at this point. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, you're kind of going through this, and you know that there, you know that there are biological samples, there's D DNA taken, blood tests, blood from the crime scene, uh, mm -hmm. fingerprints, <clears throat> uh, you know, just things like that, like uh, hair samples, uh, gray, uh, gray matter samples, just all various uh, biological evidence. Mm -hmm. Anything? Do you have a question in a second? Yeah, anything about that, Grady, that you want to, like, investigate or... <clears throat> Um, maybe I could, using my evidence collecting kit, I probably have, like, tape for, um, fingerprints. Um, is this the actual fingerprint, or is it, like, a photo of the fingerprint? Um. Or is it, like, the ink that their fingerprints? Yeah, you, you would find, like... I'm not really sure how they store fingerprints, to be honest. Um, it would be like digitized, probably. Out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like you, you'd be able to find the records of fingerprints, like on the computer. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to? Well, I'm just like thinking if I can get the sample of the fingerprints, we could like. I, I have a... leave a fingerprint. <laughs> I mean, are, is there any evidence. like? Yeah, but like what evidence? I mean, it doesn't. No, I know. I'm just trying to think of what will be useful for me to take. I have a question for Agent Grady, actually. Yes, yeah. What's if that? you have computer science of um, 40, and if I still have um, Michael Way's phone from the earlier crime scene, can we Ooh. plug that shit in and maybe <sighs> we can crack that? Oh, yeah. The, uh, oh, yeah. Ask I would love to try that. Because we need to see if he's taken pictures himself of the numbers, or if he's posted right. anywhere on his cell. Yeah, we gotta get I also phone. remember. I also, when I was sort of thinking, when you guys were looking at the um, biological evidence, I remembered one of the tasks on the mission is to not only look for all the evidence of the numbers, photos, postings, shares on social media, maybe, but we're supposed to look for anyone who's been exposed to the numbers period that might be at columbia but it could also be an officer that was at the scene earlier oh so if yeah there's anyone here i kind of might want to ask like either hunk cop or receptionist like <clears throat> who was there earlier who first responded because right. they must have taken some sand loss after seeing shit in there and i'm yeah. wondering if they've got numbers virus i want right. to figure out if any of the cops have that shit maybe that's a very good yeah, so crack phone, you'd hope none of these cops have, have any like high-level mathematics skills, but you never know. No, serious, a detective, they're pretty smart usually and might be college-educated, so if they were, you know, took a lot of math. It's true, I don't know if this police department has detectives, you know, typically. Oh, like that's they true. Might, I, don't, I don't really know the ins and outs of, like, local police, but, like, I feel like that's, you might be, like, a detective on the state police or something. In, even like, in, or like, in, like, my a big small city. town, we got... Even really? in my small yeah, town detectives. Portsmouth, we had we had detectives. Yeah, I, mean. yeah, I feel like there's at least one usually. I saw a car oh, with yeah. a Portsmouth, New Hampshire sticker the other day, and I was like, that's crazy. 
There was a Boston it's plate when I was driving down I-35 today. I saw a Boston plate. And I was like, that's insane. Boston or Texas? That's Boston? You saw a like, Boston plate? You mean a mass plate? Yeah, it, it was a mass plate, but it had like a pick of Faneuil Hall on it. It was oh, crazy. Oh, cool. Holy shit, yeah. your ping Andy is off the chain right now. Is it? Holy oh shit, the ping God. just skyrocketed. Wait, Wait, is that nine nine two zero two two nine nine eight nine? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're paying. Hold on. Um. Okay. So you guys are going through this evidence, and I would say that with your forensic, between your forensic skills, computer science skills, Grady, and your forensic skills, Joe Bear, and just like life experience between all of you, you guys know that you can cook this evidence, but it's gonna take. Probably some a few hours being in here. Dang. Yeah. <sighs> um. Have someone watch the door, maybe. You know what I mean. Also, yeah. We could be straight up. Uh, it's like we need space. Yeah, we're just working on evidence. Yeah. Do we have laptops? Uh, I don't know. Do you? I feel like you bring your laptop on this trip. Yeah, sure. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. I, mean, yeah, I feel yes. like you would. Yeah. yeah. I feel yeah, like I you and Joe Bear would, would like bring. Yeah. Your no, you're right. Have a laptop. Yeah, fair. I'll cop to that. I'll cop to that. I was going to say, I don't know if Joe Bear would have a laptop, but. You're a tax yeah, man. You're IRS. It's all I computerized. Would, yeah, I probably so. would. I have to yeah. answer email. You have a Chrome. At book. least think about the email. Sort of like very, very passive aggressive iPad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. An iPad maybe with a, the keyboard. Like, maybe a Galaxy Note. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. No, definitely a Galaxy oh, Note. Mr. Android a, for sure. Yeah. A, a, a <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so in cooking this out of Shalem, we, we can make it seem like Dinah and Michael Way had some sort of relationship. Mm. Is there, like, it's a little harder to do that? here. If we crack like, the phone, here and now, yeah. maybe if you crack the phone, you could do. Oh yeah, we gotta crack the phone. Like okay, that. yeah. Okay. Um, crack the, crack but remember, the that was essential. just a suggestion. It's not like necessary. Crack the, is, crack the phone is big. Though, it's not necessary. And establish a link. Even it's though not. you already kind of set it on the. I mean, yeah, like uh. I know it the, says it in news. the thing. It says that it's like, what does it say? It says establish a romantic link or something. Yeah. It, to establish yeah, a cover story for Way's actions. It's a cover for Way's actions. Like, why did he go there? Yeah. To, why when, did he kill them? No, that is kind of important. Otherwise, it's like, yo, why did this kid randomly murder these people? They need to establish true. a motive, too. So but shit like that does should, happen. And I, I mean, yeah, it does, yeah, but you know. Basically, like Agent Kane said horror, that was yeah. his suggestion, that that was, like, one idea he had, but that ultimately, whatever it takes, like, whatever you think, you know, you're doing the investigation, maybe there's something that okay. would come up Alternate, that would be I, smarter, or whatever, he was just like, that's my first, kind of, like, inclination. You no, know, he's, he's a mathematician, he was helping uh, the dad uh, count cards or something, and they were scheming. <laughs> You know, I don't know. Uh, they're replacing bet, uh, like I don't know, stock investment bets. They're gaming the market, something like that. And Joe he Bear burned might be away on a deal. Evidence like that with, the, with the bureaucracy or the accounting. Yeah, seriously. The accounting. Maybe if. Uh, I mean, yeah, if you think bureaucracy would account for that. If the father burned way on a supposed deal and way felt betrayed by that, he definitely would go and like get his lick back. So. Yeah. 120%. So. So at this point, what's the plan? Are you guys? And by the way, it's like uh, probably at like yeah, 11 p.m. now. Are you guys gonna spend a few hours here looking over the ev quote unquote looking over the evidence? Um, I don't feel very essential in this or, locker right now. So, but I don't want to make sure. Like I feel like, what if someone comes in and we're in the middle of cooking? I don't know. Like you're in there on official stuff, but. Like, oh no, one of us could just, one of us could go outside. I could go outside. Yeah, we go back to the conference room, yeah. which pretend to be there, and then the evidence locker, we all just sort of like rotate ourselves we around. Yeah, every we haven't while. checked out the conference locker yet, I mean conference room yet, and that's where the other FBI guys were out. What if we compare what they got with what we got? 
Yeah, they it's in there. It's like kind of like the standard. Like they have a picture of Michael Way's face. They have a picture of the victims. Right. They have pictures of the victims and kind of just like, you know, a map showing like where he went. Um, oh yeah, yeah, in the evidence, yeah, yeah. important. Um, that gun, the gun. Yeah. Yeah. This is something you're figuring out, and you can f see this from the evidence now that you like have access to it. That gun is from the New York Police Department. Oh, and man. the gun itself right. has okay. been out of com like out of commission. It's not really like used, and it's like in storage. Oh, dude, um, Michael Way's dad is a cop or something. And we gotta go to New York. This is bad. Well, yeah, you find well, like what it says there is that it was that it was found missing. Uh, from a storage location. Storage location, like an off, like an off-site storage for the NYPD instead yeah. of being at like the headquarters per se. Yeah, exactly. Like some off-site. Okay. Um, like so it could like have just been some shitty warehouse knockout. type thing. Yeah. Um, they just knocked the place up and, and grabbed all this shit. Yeah. Know, but that's that's intriguing. That's intriguing for yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean you would presume that it's in a pretty it's like it would be a hard thing to get to. So that's a little strange. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a little mm -hmm. just strange. Like why didn't he just like buy a gun or something? You know what I mean? Like why did he hard to do in New York so kind to get it? Yeah, New York, but he then drove to New Jersey where it's probably less hard. And it's also like why would he steal from the NYPD? No, that's true. I feel like this has something to do with the numbers. Absolutely. Brady, are you still gonna try to crack into that phone? Yeah. I think that's a good yeah. idea. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I pulled out my hack into the phone. I have my uh, laptop. <laughs> um, so I could like plug my laptop into the the, the phone. See, I personally know nothing about any of this, so I don't even know what to pretend to be. Well, yeah. at the, uh, at the c police station, uh, presumably on one of these computers, it doesn't necessarily have to be the same evidence database, but they would have a dedicated computer with, um, you know, hack software. It's not like the most, uh, you know, super yeah, refined just... hack technology, but you can brute force uh, phone passwords pretty easy. I mean, how else would cops just be able to get into people's phones? You know what I mean? It's like, I, well, but it's I don't actually... think we can use that stuff. Ooh. You might be able to with your computer science. You do have access to the like evidence uh, computer. Okay. 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 Yeah, with your computer know how, it shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, so you have a 40 it's in computer science. Doctor. Why don't you give me a roll um, of the computer? Yeah, give me a computer science roll. Let's just see what happens. I'm going to say it's at a plus, plus 10% for a reason you don't know. How do I do that? Shift We're all click. Hoping. Well, does anyone else have any computer science? Cause... Friendship is the is the help. I do. I have twenty in computer science. Twenty in computer science, so you know your way around a computer, you like kind shift of. Click. Yeah, if you shift click okay. computer science, it should say mo uh -huh. like you should get a um. Thingy, a dialogue, and then if you. Plus ten. Plus ten, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, 69. Nice. nice. 69 is a, a failure, but it's also like the best. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that I'm going to make it interesting. Okay. Because of the 69 roll? Yeah. I think 69 that's, roll has, I think has that's, uncanny and unnatural properties, so yeah. of course it would fit in with the eldritch I, lore of the I game. Th yeah, I think that's going to be a success with a consequence, if you will. So, Grady, you are kind of plugging in your phone, pl plugging in the phone to, like, a brute force, um, like, phone hacking piece of software, uh, which is basically just going... Spams the number combos yeah, over spanning, and over and Yeah, over spamming and over number combos. Yeah. So it can take a while, but it's like eventually it should work. And um, it's kind yeah, it, 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 well, I actually don't know the accuracy of this because I do know there was like a history of like Apple not giving law enforcement Fine. the yeah. ability to like enter the phones and like 
Let's say uh, it's a Motorola. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, because it's like it's like yeah, it's six numbers, but it's not one through six. If it was just one through six, that would be a lot easier. But it's it's you know zero through nine, and there's six numbers, so little. It's it's gonna take. It can take a while, but Grady, as you're seeing, let's just say it's like oh god, it's like a fucking. Let's just say it's like a fucking movie, right? Like this probably is not at all how the software works, but you can see the numbers flashing on the screen, like it's everything it's through. crying. No, it's, yeah. <laughs> That is how it works. I'm not even kidding. It yeah, it's like through scrolling through every stuff. single number. And as like some Little. of the numbers come eight. up, Grady, eight. you're eight. starting eight. to see like the number that from earlier, like the 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 flash nine, of, nine. of the, two, zero, the maroon. Two, two, yeah, push, 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 push. Like eight, eight. instead of the numbers on the screen, it's like the Polaroids of uh, the close up of the nine two zero. Yeah, push, push, push. Eight. And then all of a sudden, it like comes to eight, you, eight, and eight, the number. To get into his phone is nine zero nine nine one three. Where is we're in? We're in. What'd you say? Nine nine <laughs> zero nine nine two three. I may have said one three. It's two three. Wait, nine nine zero nine nine two three. I just chatted it. No, nine. <laughs> yeah, I think he got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you're good to know. It's no, spelled I wrote it down. in the hat. I was just writing it. Yeah, I was writing it down on my notepad. It spells boobies. LFG. And, uh, no, I'm kidding. But, and no, it I... doesn't. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I was like, it spells bobbies. Bobbies. Damn, Nikki. Bobby. Bobbies. <laughs> Damn, Nikki. Nice bobbies. Damn, Nikki, you're Bobby. And not even, it's Bobby. And not even. <laughs> yeah, not even not close. <laughs> doesn't really bear a resemblance uh, to anything. Anyway, yeah, so you're, you're like seeing these numbers and suddenly you know it and you just like blankly, just like while the machine is still running, you like unplug the phone and just like type them in and boom, you're into the phone. Wow. That was easy. That's what a 69 gets you. Oh, uh, while you're here, make a sanity roll. I thought so. Martha's Grady's sand is not the best right now. She's oh no, be... dude. What is it? What is it? <laughs> oh, your breaking point is 40. You're at 44. Oh, sh wait. Uh... Give me a 1d4. <gasps> this could be so bad, dude. <laughs> Okay. You should be Grady. You should have hit the sig earlier. <laughs> you should have hit the fucking sig earlier. Maybe that would have prevented like one sand, maybe, have been funny per the lore. Oof. Oh, oh my oh, god. Oh, oh my god. Uh, Fuck. Do you oh, want to project all... any of it? I would project that. So. Um. Yeah, I'm fucking thinking. You've got lots of bonds that can take a hit. Yeah. Then hit those bonds. Uh, research fellow Daniel Rivera. Oh, all your coworkers and boss. Oof. Yeah. All right. So give just me reason to this. not be at work. Give me a one. Uh, give me another one d four. This is gonna see how much you're able to project. See how, how much goes Daniel straight is. to the dome. <sighs> Only one. Oh. You only All took right. two. So Daniel Rivera's score goes down by one. Your willpower points go down by one. Oh, they have tick marks, the uh, bonds. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what the check marks are for. So, so is it like two, they each get like two uses per bond or like? No, I don't know what the check marks do. You No, you get as many points as you have. Like once they hit zero is when you can, can't, can no longer project onto them. You can just you keep projecting and projecting and projecting if you want. Um, to nine, just to nine. Where's that? Willpower's at the top middle, it's, uh, next to HP, WP. Oh, WP. So it goes down to nine. Yeah, that goes down to nine. That's kind of like a daily thing. You'll probably, if you get a night's sleep, although who knows at this rate, um, that should return to normal. And then your sand, yeah, it gets to go back up by one. Though so still pretty close to a breaking point. Oh, geez. 
all this is getting to you, Martha Grady. You're just like a desk researcher, you know what I mean? Like a lab researcher. Yeah. Out in the field, you're in over your head. I like, being, uh, I like being behind a microscope. Yeah. How is this manifesting, do you think, like in, in Grady? Um, I'm chewing on my nails. Yeah, you like put in the phone, so like you just put in the like number and it goes through and then it like hits you that like everything's connected for a sec like in a moment you feel like everything's connected and like not in like a oh cool acid way, but like in a yeah. gut wrenching like Ugh, like nothing has yeah. any so meaning fine. and everything is fucked sort of way. Um Information overload. Yeah, and then like, yeah. How do you respond? You're like, you start biting your nails. What do you do with the phone? Uh, I go to the photos app. Oh, good one. Yeah. What do I see? The photos app. Yeah. Um, there's not much on there. There's actually a lot of pictures of homework. And like due dates and stuff like that. Uh, I'm gonna look at the due dates. It's in, it's in the homework somewhere, or if not there, it's there were no textbooks. I was so surprised about that. It would yeah, also be good the, to check the social the, media. The due dates and the, text. The dates of them they 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 start to align in weird ways. It's not exact, but it's not. Yeah, it's like you can't quite put your finger on it. Um, Pasta is the only one who hasn't seen the. the a uh, touch of the eldritch numbers yet, dude. Like, yeah, I'm good on that. <laughs> yeah, I'm good, I'm on good that. off that, bro. I'm good <laughs> off that, bro. Um, yeah, uh, what about like texts or um, phone calls? social media so it's so great is like is how you're yeah. kind of responding this you're like nervously going through the phone yeah all right so you're like going through the phone you're seeing text there's a text from somebody named uh he hasn't responded to his text in a few in, in like a few days um at least like a uh probably actually like about a week and sorry i'm trying to find the name of the Uh, yeah, you, you see a few texts from somebody named Anthony and somebody f named Molly. And they're like, Michael, uh, it says, like, Michael, give us a call back. Like, we've been trying to reach you. Uh, worried about you. Mm -hmm. um, and he hasn't responded to any of them. Um, you right. see um, texts from his parents and sister. Sister Imogen and his parents are... Uh, well, it just says mom in there. Uh, you you would be able to know his parents just from like the documents, I guess, is uh, mm -hmm. Miriam way and um. Oh, excuse me. His father's dead. Father's been dead for eight years. Oh, so that's pretty weird. If he's in his phone, then. Uh yeah. Sorry. No. Yeah, he's not in his phone. <laughs> 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 I was gonna be like, I think we might have figured out what happened. Uh, yeah, you go through his crazy. text and that's kind of like all you're seeing um nothing of note except like kind of some people who are seem a little worried about him he hasn't really been reaching out in a few days and then you go to his email mm -hmm. and you go to you see that there's a reply to an email that he sent and the reply says this is incredibly interesting stuff i can't believe no one's noticed this before I uh, can't wait to dig in. Oh no. And you open the email and you see this is a silly representation of it, but you see uh Did that work? Did it show you everything? Yeah. And you see this is the email he sent. This is why it's a funny a representation because it's a like it's a really old. Squish. He has a Netscape theme on his uh, phone. Oh, let's email. go. Let's <laughs> and uh, <laughs> no way, okay. Jose. Okay. That's okay. Cyber Dash. Fuck off. <laughs> no <laughs> way, Jose. <laughs> That's awesome. Atlas Brain Doc. 
You should oh, no. be able to see it on the... I've been studying something called the Laqueous Equation in my work with Maracene Primes. I think I cracked it and it's really quite incredible. My notes are below and I think you all agree it's pretty elegant, so I wanted to share them with you all. Wait, that's like a list, sir. It is, and that's where we'll end like, that's today. That's a lot of people. Fuck. And that's no. where we're gonna end. Oh my god. Oh, oh no. Nail no. <laughs> oh. I fall to oh. my knees. I th- no, no, no. I think that uh, Martha Grady does fall to her knees and utters a silent scream. <laughs> Fuck yeah, that's where we'll leave it. That's awesome. Yeah. See, dude. The Laqueous Equation. Yeah, that's the twist and a half. The Laqueous Equation. Um, Is it, has it been like less than, you know, 30 minutes? Maybe we can just delete it before anyone sees it. <laughs> Take uh, that email please. back. It's been it's 19 it hours. Was, yeah, it's been a long <laughs> time. Oh, I think he, well, a lot of people... Into his phone. No, lot, but, yeah, no, but they, he sent this as an email to a... Uh, a oh, you're saying a lot ma- of people. Oh, right, right. A mailing, it's a mail list, yeah. Mass yeah. that list brain. So that's like a... Uh, We're going to have to reach um, that spot.